tall, so not the biggest barbarian, but I'm jacked. <laughs> <laughs> at the Dark Moon Festival oh, geez. to do a dungeon with fishing poles equipped. <laughs> because I'm why not? Mayor, and so we drank I all of the alcohol in our bags and we equipped our fishing poles and our aquatic pets and we went to do a dungeon. <laughs> so this was the end of our epic tale what holds for next week as the heroes set sail we may find more family we may find where things start all we know is to follow our hearts so our heroes set forth to pillage and to wander in the magical continent of wonder we have one more For you, dear friends, do you wonder? Thank you, guys. Indigo Connect. Hi, everybody! Hi. Thank you! Oh. Countdown ever. Uh, <laughs> so much for tuning in to tonight. Uh, it is Tuesday night. We are here on the Indigo Chameleon, and it is time for a little Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, so, uh, we've got a few announcements before we get started with tonight's game. Uh, as always, you can come hang out with us on the Discord. Uh, we have lots of cool things on the Discord. We've got up to date schedules, we've got memes inspiration, and a play-by-post run by yours truly. Uh, it's set in the wild, weird west. A uh, lot of freedom to create a character and just sort of hang out. RP, uh, come into the bar when you're able and then leave when you want to. Uh, so I do need to make a rule for all of my characters. No play-by-posting while in a game. That would be embarrassing. So <laughs> as a general rule, general rule, no participation in the stone's throw during a game that you are in. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, hi, everybody in the chat. I'm so sorry I miss you guys. I'm backstage. I look forward to it. Wolf Grin, Nina, Icky. Oh, my gosh. Icky, you went so hard. There be dragons. T.E. Graves. She knows things. Meowdeth. Icky knows all things. Uh, so she is the DM to me as a DM. So uh, so uh, there's the Discord. Uh, there's a shop. Uh, you can head over to the merch store and find cool stuff like that mug, that t-shirt. Uh, you can rep the Karma brand. It helps us out and it, uh, it shows your pride for the cool show that we do and cool stuff that we do here on the channel. Uh, there's also an online store uh, called, uh, uh, it's right below the area. It's like the little store, digital storefront where you can buy items and things to up your digital avatar. Uh, tonight's item, I don't know if it was already spotted, uh, was so cute. Uh, a little plush dragon uh, who says things when you squeeze them. Uh, stuff like, I have legendary resistances. Uh, 
and make a deck safe. <laughs> and like, you know, general oh stuff that, that, that dragons <laughs> say. That's adorable. Uh, Can I have it for real? Yes, that does count you're for you if you're gaming here. your game. Uh, but, uh, however, if a uh, player buys this item uh, and keeps it in their inventory one time and one time only, they can activate the item and get resistance to fire damage. Uh, should they so choose? I'm not saying it's a an item worth getting, but... Uh, it's an item worth getting. But it might be an item worth getting. So, <laughs> something to keep in mind. Uh, but the cool stuff like that. Uh, upcoming schedule for this week. Tomorrow, we got nothing. We got nothing for you. Because uh, we, uh, we just don't. Uh, so we'll go find other cool stuff going on because we got stuff coming up and craziness. Uh, but Thursday night, we go back to the Lost Isle. We do another one of our first of many interludes where I borrow heavily from the Adventure Zone and have my characters actually spin on the fantasy Gashapon machine and I'm getting uh, that get, sinking feeling. get some get magical it. items. And then we start our adventure on the Titanic. Uh, <laughs> if you like D&D &D and you like sci-fi, i.e. Doctor Who... Uh, you are going to love Thursday night's uh, The Lost Isle, so tune in for that. Friday, we head back over to Neverland. They just finished a long uh, uh, boat race. Uh, it was kind of wacky racer style, but on um, Friday, uh, we are going to dive a little bit further into the mythos surrounding Neverland and learn more about the tribe as we dive deeper into that and uh, we, we talk with ghosts. Uh, so uh, tune in for Friday night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I speak to dead people. Uh, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday we don't have anything going on just yet, but Indigo and I haven't done a homebrew and brew with you oh, in a while. Um, so, uh, we might do a homebrew and brew with you where special guests show up. Uh, what? Uh, and, uh, you never know who will show up. Uh, anybody that's welcome to come and help us homebrew <laughs> items. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Puns. We got puns for days. <laughs> we so punny up in here. Uh, and then that'll take us back around to Tuesday night. Wait, we didn't do it. I did. You have and to you. you! Thank you, Eric. <laughs> yeah, he, did. He, did. He, did. he missed he it. He did. He did the thing. He did. Yeah. Can, can Once <laughs> upon a time in Wonderland. Oh, boy. Uh, once upon a time in Wonderland. Um, so, uh, the group is still reeling. Uh, they are uh, busy stopping the end of the world, but they've taken a few moments to collect their bearings. Uh, last week's adventure saw the group headed off on a quest to earn them some gold uh, for some items that they uh, were much needed. They realized that they were very cash poor, uh, and so they worked a job for their new found friend by the name of James. Uh, James uh, led them on a trip uh, through a brand new area of Wonderland that they had not encountered, uh, and they were able to retrieve a chest, a small wooden box that had something in it that James really wanted. The crew worked hard. They overcame a sea of zombies. They found some weird looking items that they have yet to figure out whether those items do anything. And they brought those items uh, back. Having completed the job, uh, no one died. Uh, they, they didn't really kill anybody that wasn't already dead. So this was a win in, on yeah. all accounts. Yeah. Sure. Uh, they don't know what was in the box, right? So no one looked inside the box? They didn't get a chance to. James no got it and took off. James got it and took off. And nobody chased after him, which is fine. Yeah. Sure, it could be any one of a number of things in that box. And that won't come back. So, um, so we find ourselves at the Treasure Club. Uh, Thoey's been having some strange uh, dreams floating above the bed, as Thanks you for the do. Help, guys. Uh, uh, even though um, she was screaming and people were paying attention, Mandrake rushed to her side and slipped a note under the door, uh, going, are you okay? She was just talking in her sleep. And, uh, <laughs> the crew asked the bar for any help in identifying some odd objects that they had found, including two books, um, that looked very odd, uh, as the binding on them looked very akin to human skin. Uh... So uh, the bar sent uh, the nearest uh, clergyman that they could find and that they had on retainer, and Justice showed up. Uh, walking into Nix's room, uh, Nix uh, closing the door, saying that he could handle anything that would happen uh, on Mandrake and Enwin, and that's where we find our heroes. Uh, I know that I promised that we would rectify the end of the episode that happened, and I just, due to scheduling and running around, I wasn't able to get here in time. So, 
Instead, we're going to do another after party. Uh, you know exactly what he said to you. I private message you. Okay. Um, but we will retcon. This scene is happening while this is happening. Okay? You know exactly the offer that he's made for you. And we will show the audience the scene after we finish tonight's episode. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Is there any confusion about what was just said there? Um, I wasn't informed there's a lot of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Seconded. Uh, You're right, I'm sorry. Retracted. Overruled. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? No? One quick question. Yes. Just look and just give me a yes or a no on that. Just so I can make sure that I understand. Okay. <laughs> yes. Got it. Okay. Amelia, yep. I understand. Thank you. We're gonna yep. die and end up in the mud. Oh crap. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, crew, what do you? What would you like to do? Uh, Nix, I know that you're inside your room right now. Uh, uh, Justice uh, uh, sees the items on the floor and uh, begins uh, lighting candles and preparing an, a, an ornate ceremony uh, to determine. She looks over at you at one point, Nick, and Nix, and says. Um, what is it exactly that you would like me to do? Just oh, remove um, curses, identify yeah, if, if there's they any are. curses on them, just get rid of them. It may take me a bit of time, is that all right? If you don't, like how long? Like, can't take more than a day, right? No, uh, no, I was thinking an hour. Yeah, I'm fine with that, as long as you're okay with it as well. Yes, yes, absolutely. And she goes about the process of lighting candles. Uh, where is everyone else in the bar? Thoe is asleep. Um, uh, is it weird to say that Grim is eating a sausage? Grim is eating his arm sausage. Uh, that is not weird. Uh, Grim has recently uh, acquired a tattoo that allows him to pluck a sausage uh, tattoo from his arm, and it uh, materializes into an actual sausage and kind of hanging out in the bar and drinking. Um, Grim, go ahead and give me a perception check at disadvantage as you are drunk as heck. Wow, thanks for that. Does a net one count if I just immediately get that? No, 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 it counts like badly, <laughs> but it counts. Like, so, uh, so yeah, it's, it's you are you are so preoccupied with yourself that uh, that this new party that walks in uh, to the bar and walks right past you, sort of scanning the bar, walks upstairs. Um, where are the two of you? Uh, we are in the hallway. Yeah, outside right. the room. Um, I am not incredibly comfortable with leaving Nyx in there with her. I don't think that I need to voice that I'm not. I think it's clear. Um, another thing that I think you should maybe know. No, I know we should burn her. It's fine. Um, I'm not opposed to that, but I thought you should probably know that. She knows that you are in league with Map. Wow. I was hoping you might have some insight. Well, it's not exactly a secret. We did have a giant meeting in the bar. <laughs> so maybe that, but also... She, she she told me when I went to see her in the mouth. Mm, up on the roof. Yes. You think she's been watching us? Uh, she said as much. Oh, well then. I'm super comfortable with that. <clears throat> I'm not. Uh, as Mab comes walking around the corner, uh, escorting uh, her is the largest individual you have ever seen in your entire life. Uh, this is a, a uh, half orc uh, who's easily seven and a half feet tall, and he's having to stoop a little bit. Uh, with him, he carries a giant war hammer that he sort of drags around the ground at his side. Uh, on his uh, arm are these glyphs and sigils that seem to light up. Uh, and uh, he just holds himself with one of those larger-than-life presences. Uh, Mab is uh, dressed to the nines. Uh, she's wearing um, just a, a beautiful, and almost a ball gown that looks out of place in the bar itself. She looks dressed for something that should not be happening right now. It's, it's, she's walking the red carpet. Uh, that, and the, these blues and whites seem to sparkle and flash. Upon closer inspection, you see that she has... Um, used adhesive to to affix pixies to the to the gown and like sewn their mouth shut a little bit. So occasionally, when one bumps against something, they'll give a little flash, and the dress sparkles with an uh, uh, an arcane light. Um, 
Anwen, dear, how are you? You brought, you bought clothes. Oh, I did. You look so much less homeless. Thank you. Oh, gosh, it, it touches my cold, dead heart. Uh, where is the rest of the group, sweetie? Uh, thought we sleeping. You need to go wake her up. All right. I have news. Uh, and uh, hello, Mandrake, dear. How are you? Um, doing well? Do uh, be a dear. Would you please... Uh, uh, it looks like Grim is downstairs, and he's drinking and eating sausage because he's a... Beggar child? I don't know. Please go get him and bring him upstairs. Um, absolutely. Uh, could I go and retrieve something from Nyx? Oh, yes. Where is Nyx? Uh, he's in that room. Perfect. She will walk up to the door and push open the door. Um, Nyx, uh, this, uh, the preparations are still uh, taking place as uh, a Mab opens the door uh, to the room. Uh, Nyx, how are you, dear? I'm... I'm well. so Can sorry. I help you? Yes, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I wanted to have a meeting with the group. Who's this? Who's your friend? This is Justice. Justice. Lovely to meet you. Uh, Justice turns her head to the side, and as she does, she sees Mab walk through the door and pulls her sword out of her scabbard. Um, as she does, the ceremony begins to stop um, as she uh, looks at Mab, and Mab looks at her. Mab's eyes dart down. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, the celestial deer. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I should have knocked. Decorum. I just, I was, I'm so excited by the news. Justice, it is a pleasure to meet you. Um, and Justice brings her sword to bear in front of her against the Queen of Air and Darkness. Nix. Yes. Would you tell your friend to put her sword down before I before I kill her. Do you feel comfortable doing that? You know what, that's, that's not your job. I will talk to her. Justice, dear, I feel like there's been a miscommunication. And she puts her hands up and begins to walk around this circle where the books are outlined. And she goes, Justice, I am not the evil, cold, calculating, murderous of the Fey courts that you have been taught that I am. I'm worse. Here it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, a spell is cast and uh, justice. Uh, spell. Uh, justice uh, goes to disappear from the room. Uh, what level? Fifth. Uh, I need you to roll a d20 and add your spellcasting ability modifier to that. Oh boy. Are she we her gone. Are we uh, seeing this? That's a six plus five. Uh, you are seeing this. Uh, Ooh, I'm going to counter spell next then. Uh, that's <laughs> you. You are free to do that. <laughs> what level do you um, counter spell at? The only one I can do is fifth. Fifth. So it's immediately counted. <laughs> fifth on fifth. Fifth on fifth. Counterspell, counterspelled. Spell pops off. Yes? During all of this, Mandrake just would have walked forward and grabbed the two platinum bars and put them back into his bag. <laughs> just okay. Them. Yeah. The two platinum bars are picked up on the ground. Um, uh, there is a loud pop. She turns to you and says, I'm saving her from hurting herself. She's back to her realm. She's, she will wake up None the wiser. I don't have a problem with you doing that, other than it's in my room. That's fair. Next time I'll do it in the hallway, okay? Kisses, I have good news. I have done a little bit of digging, and I wore this girl's face. And she pulls her hand up. And as she pulls her hand up, uh, Grim, you are coming into the room as you see um, Queen Mab uh, change her appearance and take on the visage of the queen. And she will say, you will be surprised at the amount of information people will just willingly give to me. And she puts her hand back up over her face. She goes, so, I have discovered something. I have discovered how Puck is able to do some of the things that he is doing. Puck, through unmitigated gall, has captured the names of several dragons. Dragons, dear people, I don't know if you 
know about them yet are giant lizards. Have we encountered any? Some of them have breath weapons that they fire. Only, Very clever. Only the ones Puck was pretending to be. Uh, <laughs> one prior to that. And one prior to that. That's interesting. We'll, more of that later. Um, so Puck has managed to get the names of these dragons, and these dragons, he's keeping them somewhere. He's keeping them alive past where they should be, and I have discovered that our dear Puck has dabbled in arcane magics and has set up little pocket dimensions for himself. Little areas where he can hidey hole bodies and personalities and names that he has collected over the years. So, dear children, I need you, spearheaded by the winter night, he's wearing clothes now, to go to where one of these dragons are being held and kill it with fire. Just get rid of it. Just poof it. I don't care. Do whatever you must. Yeah. But it needs to be done to weaken Puck and to establish a firmer stronghold for all of you here. Kill the dragon. That, that's all you want us to do. That's all I need you to do. And I have brought help. Look at this! And she points to the largest individual you've ever seen in your life. This is giant ogre who's eight feet tall, and he's carrying a large war hammer at his side. And, uh, and as she points to this giant figure that looks adept in the field of battle, he turns around, and uh, sleeping on his back like a little baby Bjorn <laughs> is a elf who seems to be snoring rather loudly. Uh, the ogre will undo the straps on the back, and as he does, the elf tumbles to the ground. You have a thingy on your back. Hello. Um, Your Highness, could we have the other one? <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. No, uh, this is not the only pocket dimension I'm hitting uh, this evening. Uh, there are several others, and uh, there's an A team, you know, and, and this is this is Glarg. Glarg is also an amazing pastry chef, aren't you, Glarg? Uh, he turns his enemies' kidneys to meat pies. Isn't that nice? That's fun and clever. Don't so there's an on all that bad. A team and a B team and a C team, and way below that, after we run out of letters, that's where. Enwin's team comes in. We're going to call them the fun team. That's all of you. Uh, and this, uh, this lovely individual owes me a favor, and I figured uh, I, I can have a word with Day about some things coming up, and you can go help them. So what does this individual look like? Um, stands at about 5'11". Um, hair pulled back into like this rough ponytail, dark brown hair, um, sea green eyes, and just like the slightest hint of a goatee because he is just, he's got that little trace of human in him. <laughs> Spear slung over his back, standard traveling clothes, and a fairly sizable wine bottle strapped to his belt. Uh, all right, well, this already looks like a match made. Like, I, I yes, darling. Um, you. You poofed the, the person who was supposed to find out if these items here are cursed or... These? Yes. Uh, you will see her eyes go bright blue, and she goes, Oh, this one very much so. The book on the far end, it's super cursed. Cursed uh, like you wouldn't believe. And these? And I'll hold up the platinum. No, those are platinum bars. Thank you. Um, <laughs> The book on the far Just immediately. The book on the far right looks to be, and she'll outreach a hand, and she's like, there's a soul of a mage in that book. Upon touching the book, the soul of the mage will be released, and someone will take his place. Not so, it. Don't touch the book. Got it. Uh, the others? Everything's good? The far left the book is, I don't know, there's no sort of magic associated with it. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, I understand that this is a terrible, terrible mission to send you on short notice, so I did bring presents uh, because I am a new mother and they're all trying to establish goodwill and that's apparently something that mothers do, so 
Good job. Um, here, and she uh, she uh, holds out a giant mace. Uh, this mace uh, is a very special mace that is uh, specifically geared towards uh, handling the undead. Uh, uh, and s- some of you, if any of you are good with wielding uh, maces, that this will this will help you out immensely. So uh, it is called a mace of disruption, and she hands uh, she puts the mace. Uh, down on the ground, uh, and says, uh, if an undead gets close to it and it's below a certain amount of vitality, they will explode into bloody chunks. So, enjoy. Uh, the other two items that I have for you are, hmm, are potions. Um, the first potion is something of my own invention. Uh, it, it is a poison. Uh, this poison is specifically geared to harm dragons, um, and you can use it to coat a weapon, if you will. It is a one-time usage, but uh, in parlance, it will incredibly, incredibly incapacitate and hurt a dragon. But you've only got the one shot, so hmm. make sure it counts. And she hands over a uh, silvery liquid that seems to move of its own accord in a small bottle. Um, uh, The other one is intense. The last dragon I killed, I had a, I had, let's call him a alchemist, experimenting with the blood in terms of what it could do. This will allow you to channel the soul of a blue dragon. Uh, this particular potion, I'm told, uh, empowers you physically, mentally, and spiritually. <coughs> so what <coughs> this potion Sorry. what this potion does, kids, uh, this potion is going to, the other one does 10d10 on a failed con save to a dragon in particular. But you can use it on any other creature. It's just not nearly as effective. The blood of the ice dragon, uh, you gain, uh, for the hour, you gain a plus five temporary hit points. You gain D6 plus two spell slots. You grow wings and gain the ability to fly with a movement speed of 60 feet. You also take negative two damage for all types of attacks made against you. So spell slots, temporary hit points, wings, movement speed of 60 feet. Uh, This particular potion is called the Blood of the Ice Dragon. One of you can add that to your inventory. Uh, I, I say having extra Eldritch Blast. Yeah, no, um, well, extra, extra anything other than Eldritch Blast on Emily would be, be super fun. She'd be handing these items to me. Yeah, <laughs> you you would dole them out, yes. oh favored son. Yes. yes. Uh, so she puts all of these items down on the ground. She goes, I hope you will forgive me. I will never do that in your room again. Um, we are off uh, to go and, and go to a fancy party. Would you like me to open a portal to this realm for you right now? Are we ready to leave? You no. said uh, we're the oh, fun I'm squad? Shoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think the assumption yeah. was that. Yeah. 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 You're in the room, everybody here. This, and Grim's gonna, like, his special effects clothing's gonna, like, can it, like, like look like fire? Like, just kind of, like, fire kind of off his... You want to go full Katniss right now? Yeah. And just be like, can it do this? And then, like, go all fire, I'll kill your dragon. Maybe I won't. With, maybe I will. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> Forgive him. What please. have you been drinking? Uh, no. We're working on it. Definitely. What he lacks <laughs> in intelligence... Which is a lot. I think I'm just going to stop talking. Um, so uh, <laughs> we will need some sleep first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Mortals sleep. Um, all right. Sleep. Uh, get to know one another. Um, uh, rest, and then maybe in the morning, I can meet you back here. And and actually, no. May I have the other book? The not cursey one. The not cursey one. Mm. Uh, Excuse um, me one second. I'm just gonna like walk past Nix, pick up the non cursey book. Yes, uh, right here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna slap. His, <laughs> I'm gonna slap his hand. Can that I? Can I just not... straight up? Can I straight up intercept it with a block? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That, that so does not belong to you, sir. I'm. He's right. Let's not 
Start tensions before fighting. Uh, <laughs> it's a very fine hat you have there. What does the book say? I don't know anything about the book. I I she she, meant the title? Our travel? she no. takes a handkerchief out mm -hmm. and spends some time concentrating on the handkerchief. Mm -hmm. Lays the hand, brings the handkerchief over to an opposite side of the room. Waves the handkerchief up, smacks it against the door, and as it does, a doorway appears in the space. When you are ready to go, step through the doorway, you will end up in the pocket dimension that we have located. For Puck, I have not done any research, nor any reconnaissance. And to get back. <laughs> That's a great question. Call me, reach out. Do any of you have abilities that would allow you to? Not across planes, and this is a pocket dimension. What if I give you the book? No, I take the book. I don't even know what it is. Uh, the, the teacups. Do you have teacups, dears? I have a teacup. Yes. Perfect. I will get uh, one for you, yeah. um, and it will be standing outside your door. When you are ready, every one of you tap the teacups together. You'll be transported here to the bar. Hmm. Is that acceptable? Fantastic. Uh, this is a bar. Thank you. Uh, the bar is downstairs, dear. Excuse me. Drinks <laughs> are gratis. All right. Bye. Oh, <laughs> what? Well, I would watch out for him. He's he's a work in progress. Yeah. Seems eager. All right. Uh, any other questions? Good, I don't have time. Uh, and she will walk out of the room, uh, and the giant ogre will sort of stand there, the half-orc will just sort of stand there like in the room, and then you'll hear a clap, and he'll sort of turn around and walk out the baby papoose that was holding him just sort of dragging on the ground. <laughs> As he walks out. Uh, wine in hand has run away. Uh, with the book, or...? No, I, like... The as moment. soon as you, as soon as you came over to, he came over to smack his hand. He blocked it, and then he like. I would uh, gather the items except for the cursed book. I would throw a blanket over that, wrap it. Okay. Um. And what time is it? Late. It's late. How long was I asleep for? So I wasn't a long. I wasn't asleep for a long no. rest. I was just asleep. You were asleep for a couple of hours before Mab came okay. in because you actually left as soon as you came in. Was and it enough like, to heal, or am I still hurt? No. Okay. Okay. Um, how far away are we from uh, Dimitri's? Where we're at? It's late. It's, it's late. Very late. Okay. It's very, it's very okay. Late. Never mind. Um, it's the same date, too. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> I always have two bars of time um, to spend. Okay. Um, I don't... Having seen the way Nyx, like, looked at the items when I gathered them. Did you want any of these? No. I told you I'd have the curses removed, which I failed to do because of reasons. No, so. this curse could be useful. I just won't touch it. The others are cursed. According to Mab. Yeah. I believe her. All right. She wants us to complete this. She wouldn't lie to me about the item she knew I was going to take. Okay. <clears throat> Do you trust her? Well, I don't have choice. That's fair. Um, maybe we should go gather the little one. Did anyone catch a name? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to go and prepare. Um, maybe a little bit of time with Bartholomew is in order. Mm. All right. Uh, do you mind if I take the poison? And I'll pull out my... Um, I'll pull out my uh, potion gun, whatever it's called. Sorry. Potion blaster five thousand. Yeah, that one. No, that was all over. Um, the the handbow, the handbow of alchemy. Mm -hmm. If I load it in here, at least we can hit him from a distance. Or I could put it on my hat and also hit him from. Give a distance. me an intelligence check. <clears throat> Um, 
16? You could very easily load this into the crossbow, but if you <clears throat> whiff this shot, it's going to be a bad day for somebody. Okay. So, so, a la Luke, mm -hmm. like, don't, you, if you turn off your targeting computer, like, right. make sure you make this shot. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Does anyone else have an idea for it? For what? The poison? Dragon poison. Well, I figured we just put it on his sword and let him go at it. Also, uh... I put on my sword. I'll hit everything around um, me. The adults are talking right he, now. No, Thank but you. He, <laughs> listen, I, can, I he is more accurate than most at hitting the first time with the sword, and I feel like we've got one time. shot on this, and it's just smarter. Okay. No arguments here. Give it over here. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. In the morning. In the morning. You're you're not my pack. Did either. you did you hear that Queen Mab said the drinks are on her tonight? But I've already opened up a tab. So, <laughs> jokes on her. I've already made my steak and butter. <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, I'm going to the lab. Listen, uh, listen, <laughs> you stop. Chill out. I can end all this. One lesser restoration, and you're not feeling this anymore. You're so not. You want you're not my mom. Yeah. Okay. You're not so my can mom. You calm down. <laughs> yeah. My Boop. mom, and he's gonna walk out the door. As soon as he boops her, and when just like slowly slides out the door, <laughs> like, I'm not gonna be here for this. Lesser restoration. <laughs> he is now sober. <laughs> 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 he was Peeking head in the room. Uh, there is a. Mm, hang on. It's poisoned. Is poisoned is alcohol. Is it a willing creature? Uh, he does not say. All right, then it yes. It says you touch a <laughs> creature. She and goes, she goes, gone, touch, and you're like, oh, reality. <laughs> 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 and I notice all the flaming attire that I have. That's silly looking. <laughs> Yep. Uh, wine in hand. Uh, you head downstairs to the bar. Uh, and this is probably not your first time in the Cheshire Club. Uh, uh, and uh, Bo, uh, the bartender, is awesome. helping a customer and turns around and his eyes go wide uh, as this Warforge looks and he goes, Oh, God. Wine. Oh. Wine, no. Nobody. Wine, yes. No. More, please. No, you are so... Your tab is so long. Like, there's no... Bo, 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 buddy. Listen, listen, listen. So you know those guys that are here working for, you know, mm-hmm, mm hmm Oh, God. Yeah, mm hmm So I'm, I'm temporarily working with them, so she's got my drinks. So! I'll go get another keg. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Bo will head into the back. Um, is green, the air is green. People are starting to uh, people are starting to come up and like pat wine on the, uh, wine in the in hand on the back and try to cozy up to him now that it has been announced to the entire bar that he is drinking free this evening. And all of you can pay for your own. Uh, uh, <laughs> Flint is, has not come down since you've arrived, uh, but you know exactly where he is, and he is upstairs, sort of plugging away at the newly found library that stretches on and on and on. Well, would you go spend time with him or? I'd probably check on him, give him a quick update uh, about what was, what's going to happen. Okay. I was going to a pocket dimension and then. He goes, okay, uh, what was in the other book? I'm not touching either of those. Well, only one of them was cursed. Why aren't you touching the other one? Because it was Mandrix. It was meant, uh, darling, it was a book, are you okay? And she puts a hand up <laughs> to her head and like feels it and was like, you don't want to look inside the mysterious book? One of which was cursed and belonged to like an archmage? I mean, if I could ask, I'm just really exhausted. Gig, gig, gig. Gig, gig. And he will walk out of the library and go find Mandrake. Mandrake, are you in your room? Yeah, I'm in the kit. He, you'll hear a knocking on the kit as you are talking with Bartholomew. Open it. Hey, can Nix look at that book? Uh, which one? The 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 non cursed Wait, one. Wait, what? What do you mean, which g one? G g g <laughs> the non cursed one. We'll give it right back. I trust you. Thanks. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to me? I love you. And get some sleep. And I look really <laughs> nice. You look very nice. Okay, there you go. Here, look at the book. Lots of good fun things in there, I'm sure. 
Uh, uh, give me an investigation check as you uh, examine the book. Uh, 24. A 24. Uh, you needed a 21. Uh, oh. The first half of the book is a gardening how-to Great. book. Uh, and you flip needed. through the pages and you're like, oh god, this is the most boring book in the world. Why was this stored? Uh, as you flip through the gardening book, you get about three-fourths of the way in and you realize that the gardening portion of the book was used to hide what this book really was, which was a spell book of sorts. Uh, there are a few spells that are stored in this spell book. You are free to uh, to copy them down into your spell book, should you so choose. The spells found in this uh, spell book are non-detection, feign death, cloud kill, and Mordenkainen's Faithful Hound. Okay. How long does it take to copy each down? Uh, depends on the level of the spell. I would encourage you to look at the wizard, uh, uh, the um, part of the player's handbook about terms of uh, copying spells. You and I will work out something because I yeah. understand that we have much less downtime than we than other games. Mm -hmm. You and I will work together on, on one of these, and we'll figure out a better system when it comes to downtime and gold, things of that sort. Uh, do you head back to your room to sleep? Uh, in a few. I'm checking with Enwin. First. Are you talking with Bartholomew about what I think you're talking about with Bartholomew? Yes, and asking him for something. Okay, what are you asking him for? Um, I was... Is there a is there a potion that you know how to make? Yes. That um, you could just stop there right there. Okay. Is there a potion that you have the ingredients to make? Okay, that's all. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that would allow me to not sleep for an evening if necessary. It's called coffee. Um, and not suffer from exhaustion. Yes. You're looking for something to keep you awake. For a, a small period of time. Yes, so that I can help you in the uh, in the lab if necessary. Yes, you're looking for the the maroon cow. It is a special potion of my own invention. It is uh, the maroon cow. Uh, it is a potion that I can. It will take a few days, but uh, you are only allowed to take it once. You will uh, forego a level of exhaustion. Any other uh, uh, times that you skip. Uh, resting, you will suffer some severe side effects. And you really named it the Maroon Cow? I thought a Red Bull was a little too on the nose. Why would you call it a Red Bull? I just figured an angry bull full of energy. Okay. Are we having the other conversation? Or are we not having the other conversation? If you would like to have the other conversation, okay. you can. Okay. Is it what you talk to me about? Yeah, very. It, I'm going to make it short. Okay. Um... Have you ever heard of a, a man named Lawrence Olivier? No. <laughs> Short conversation. I thought he was rather popular around here. Anyway, he makes uh, automatons. Oh, that's interesting. I had an automaton once. He can uh, attach souls to these automatons. Really? Yes. Why would you need such a thing? Would you like to see the world, Bartholomew? When you're released. Um, I mean, I've seen so much of it already. I don't, don't know if the world is ready for my genius to, to, to leave this place. The way I see it, when I release you, you either cease to be, or you can travel the world. May I think upon it? You may. Allow me to think upon it. Understood. I'm not scared. I just like my hole. I understand that. All right. Keep in mind, you wouldn't have to go out and put yourself in dangerous way necessarily. This is good. No, I I appreciate your your candor and, and, and consideration. I I will think upon it. Understood. Um 
if if you could possibly, if you, uh, how many um, how many brewing stations do do you have available? Four. Uh, could you brew one maroon cow and a few small potions? It would take me three days for the maroon cow. It would take me one day for the healing potions. Just regular healing potions. Uh, for now. Understood. Come back in a day. I will. And and think about what we talked about. Yes, of course. I will. Uh, he begins to work on those. That way. What do you remember from back there? To find back there. The other place? Uh, it's sort of beginning to get fuzzy, but I think most of it. Who do you think I see when I look at you? I'd like to say me. But who do you I think? know better. Who do you think? Him. Who? I'm not going to say his name. Why not? Because I don't want to. Are you scared? Maybe. Sometimes saying something Oh, I understand the importance of saying names. Why do you want me to say it? Because I'm really confused right now. And sometimes saying... I want to know how it sounds if you say it. Give me a con save. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, here we go. <laughs> you <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Chris, you have to pay respects. So just died. <laughs> I, just, I couldn't. And there was, the tension was so no, high. Yeah, yeah, it was like, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly fine tomorrow, you know. I do. And this is going to work out. I'm not sure I believe you. Do you know anything about why you were floating? Floating? While you were sleeping. You were speaking, oh. and you were also floating about six inches off your bed. I didn't realize I was floating. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I wasn't floating on purpose. That's a little weird. I was dreaming. It, or not. I was somewhere else. It's okay. I'll be fine tomorrow. All right. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. Uh, as you uh, finish this conversation, uh, downstairs there is a surge of noise, as it seems like people have joined in with a sing-along of sorts. Um, uh, you don't know what's happening, but the party's kicking up a little bit of a notch downstairs. Uh, oh, who's heading downstairs? I am. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, wine in hand, standing on a table, uh, in the middle of the space, uh, people sort of gathered around the area and bow, uh, head in hands, uh, like at the bar as he just sort of shakes his head. But everyone around the room seems to have a drink in their hand. Like, it's, it's crazy. Um. I'm good for business. <laughs> <laughs> um, but everybody seems to be drinking and gathered around wine in hand who has, com has command of this crowd. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for my next trick, I'm going to make this entire stein disappear. Don't expect the drink and then just immediately pitches it behind him. <laughs> um, oh, there wow. is a... <laughs> give me oh, give me a sleight of hand. Okay, uh, cool. As you, as he goes, as he drinks it, and he like grabs the attention of the crowd, and then just goes. Twenty four. Twenty four. So so as he brings his hand up, he actually puts the handle of the cup in the back of his shirt, and his long hair seems to cover it, and so he puts the cup the handle in, and then he goes one, two, and on two. Three, it's gone. And the whole crowd is drunk enough that they're just like, ah! <laughs> like, people start flipping tables. And like, it's just, it's, they start applauding. Like, people are losing their mind. Thank you, thank you. 
<sighs> I'm gonna I saddle up to the bar to bow and go. Place. Do we need to get rid of these folks? I mean, it's good for business. But the last time he was here, we replaced the tables. <laughs> we keep replacing the tables. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can afford replacing the tables. Oh, do, you, uh, do you need me to get rid of them? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I I had say it's time for for closing time. All right, friend. And he's gonna climb up on his table. Okay. Clap. I'm gonna clap my arm around and bring up my wine bottle. Have a drink. No, I don't actually drink. I'm gonna put my arm around. I'll have and a go, drink. <laughs> don't move. And I'm gonna use Faye presence to make all of these people afraid of me. <laughs> okay. I will do a collective oh wisdom save at disadvantage as they are all drunk and they already think that he is a crazy magician of the highest caliber for making his mug disappear. 17. So, 17. Do I need to roll? Um, it's only 10 feet. There is a... Standing right there. there is a... He turns and looks and, and when the air, the space around him begins to shift and there, everyone takes a few steps back and then Enwin reaches behind him. And produces and my sign. And produces the sign. <laughs> yes. People just scatter. Like, people scatter. People are leaving. They're trying to make their way to the exits. They're leaving gold uh, with Bo. And Bo's just like ecstatic as people have like, are vacating the bar as fast as they possibly can. Uh, taking the transporting cir mm. transportation circle out of the bar. And you just watch as everybody clears the bar in the back. Uh, with the exception of like one gnome who's just so far gone at this point. Who's just like... Ooh. <laughs> yep. Hop down from the table, walk over to that guy. I think it's closing time, buddy. Come on. Like, pick him up bodily by the collar. You pick him up and he just... <laughs> You're cleaning that up. And just you pat. heard him. So <laughs> pla pla place him back down on the table. <laughs> no, you heard him. Clean it up. <laughs> uh, uh, there is a uh, yeah. So this is the bar. Uh, everyone has cleared out for the night. Uh, long rest after yeah, your. Yeah, do so. I see anybody else on my way to sleep? Because I have two things I need to do. He's he's in the he's in the little. No, okay. I came downstairs. You came downstairs. Yeah. Okay. You are still upstairs. Enwin went downstairs. You might see Mandrake walking around, Grim. How long would it take me to talk to my shield and get a story together? And <laughs> are you fabricating something? Are you doing the the the? Oh yeah, I totally fought some one of these things. It's gonna be like a no, no. I did this once before, mm. kind of thing. So this is the DC ten charisma check. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Give me a DC ten charisma check, cause you're like, oh yeah, I totally fought a giant lizard before. It was you great. Got you got this. Well, that guy, that's, that's, okay. no, let's, let's not even. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Roll on the table like a, like a good guy. So, uh, that is 15? 15. 15. Yeah, the shield goes, oh yeah, you totally did fight one of those giant lizards. And you see the scene of you at the very, uh, beginning of your adventuring days, fighting the color changing giant, like, uh, gecko right. uh, alongside the cliffside. Uh, so now, uh, if you are holding your shield, you get an additional plus one AC against any dragon encounter. As the shield of heroic memories has been used. But yes, long rest after that. I'm going to go back to the library because I know he didn't go to bed. Alright, he's still working. Tell him that there were spells in the book and then dragging him to bed. Okay, uh, as you drag him off to bed, uh, he eventually is like, no, but I got... Oh, Yes, bed, and uh, and you you guys go to bed, and it's uh, he he's, spends a little bit of time like talking to you, and then it, once again it's one of those like he talks until he's exhausted, and then just passes out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the library is making progress. So he's still downstairs, or I'm Sarah. He's gone upstairs. Uh, wine in hand is still downstairs with Enwin. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Grim is where? Topside? Yeah, I, don't, I didn't go downside. He didn't, didn't go downstairs. No, he's topside. Did he's, you get drunk again? No, he's no, talking no. about shield. Like, <laughs> okay. The only super drunk guy that you see downstairs is the new kid. Yeah. And he's with me. Huh. I, I, I'm sorry if I, like, sobered you up and stuff. I mean, I'm not fully sorry because we needed to make sure that you didn't mess up the sword thing, but I'm a little sorry. I've, I've known you for this long, so... I'm I was certain that you're ready to do the right thing when it's I am. necessary. I, I, I know people are concerned, but I'm fine. Mm. I'm, I'm 
fine for tomorrow. I was more talking about like me getting sober after being drunk. And well, I, that away from I me. know you'll be. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you? It's about? it's been really kind of messed up. <laughs> a few days. Yeah, you haven't seemed like yourself. No, do you remember anything no. from it? Anything? From. From what happened? From there? From the other place? <laughs> it wasn't real. But it felt real. Just because things feel real doesn't mean they are real sometimes. I mean, they're dreams. What if there was proof that it was real? <laughs> there's, no, there's no proof. What if there was? What if... What if my right shoe fit my left shoe? Wouldn't, wouldn't make a difference. There's no proof. Tell, tell me two things so. you remember from there. <laughs> specific things. Just two specific things you remember from there. You guys, people, people around. That's not specific enough. Like, like, what was my name there? What it is, it will always be Thoe. No, my other name. What? It's Thoe. Uh, give me an intelligence check. Um, thirteen. Yeah. Do you remember her name? A little bit. Yeah. So you know. Who, who do you think that I think you are? Right now. Grim. Right now. In this space. Right now. What about there? I didn't like the name there. Why not? That's not my name now. I'm Grim. Not Graham. Graham. You give me a concept. I'm joking, dude. Stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. I said my name all three times. How dare you, sir? All right. <clears throat> I'm going to bed. Um. Uh, I sent you a text. You don't know. 39. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Everybody else, mark down a long rest on your character sheet. Uh, uh, if you were missing spell slots, you're going to need them. Uh, mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning, uh, you all wake up, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Uh, then once again, there is a hero's breakfast waiting downstairs. Um, uh, as opposed to other days, though, where Bo had mimosas and Bloody Marys and stuff lined up along the bar, all Bo has this time is water. Uh, and it's weird that he doesn't have any drinks lined up uh, alongside like little morning like drinks and things of that sort. It's, it's super weird. Uh, but yeah, everybody heads downstairs. Uh, Day does not join you all. Uh, her room is empty. Uh, on the dresser next to it is a note uh, left in her hand saying she's... Uh, going to help Mab and cancel out that favor that she owes her. But she'll be here for healing and, and any sort of uh, help that the group may need once they return. Just come back safe. Um... Is there any hot water, or is it all just? Uh, no, there's a cup of. I, there's can, a, I can. I can do hot water. That's fine. Get, 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 get. Please. I'll, I will I'm, hand to him make amends. I would like a to mug of water. Sure. Thaumaturgy to keep the water up. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Hey. Um. <laughs> what? What do they call you? Oh. Yes. In all the excitement, I never introduced myself. <laughs> Thousand apologies. Uh, I am known as Wine in Hand. Oh God. Um, for obvious reasons. <laughs> okay. Family name. Possibly. Okay. Raised in a monastery. Hard to say. It sounds like the monasteries I've been in. So it sounds like you're going around saying things were good at. Um, is he wearing any sort of religious paraphernalia? Yes, he is wearing a symbol for Cheshire. 
Cool. Uh, so you all would notice this. He wears it uh, very openly. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, like he's not one of those individuals that you've encountered in your travels, but you recognize it at breakfast. Uh, even though you did sort of it was a rushed time uh, that he's wearing the symbol of uh, the Cheshire Cat. Do you follow? Exit. Well, it depends on who leads. X X X X. I'll I'll pull out my Cheshire pendant. Mm. Yes, very much. Uh, have, have you practicing, spoken? if you will. Ah. <laughs> have you spoken? I just did. Uh, to, <laughs> to Cheshire. <laughs> Not directly in, so, in a such a way to view. Not as much lately, but, but yes. But you have. Mm, yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> He's in trouble. Less interesting, more concerning. Please explain. Uh, he's trapped somewhere, somewhere dark, somewhere strong enough to hold a god. I'm supposed to do a little chaos to... Oh, chaos I can do in spades. I would be more than happy to help. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I meant to ask you a thing. How did you get my stein? With my hand. That would do it. <laughs> 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 I like this one. <laughs> the like you more. He, like this he, one. He grows on you. Uh, quite like just grow. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna look down at the roots. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you fall in with Matt? Oh, hey, look, toast. Understood. Um, um are we ready? <laughs> uh, oh, is, uh, give me an insight check. Give me an insight check. <laughs> I dropped it. Back. I know. Um, six plus. I think it's a zero, so six. Yep, everything's great. <laughs> he has no idea why he hooked up with that. I Matt. just drink it. I just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, every... wait. Matt just said something about cup. That's a stein. That's not a cup. Where's a tea, tea cup? No. <laughs> Bo will walk over. <laughs> just gonna say. Place a teacup. Welcome, as you have become a new official member of the Wonder Club. I'm so honored. You are I part. I don't abuse this. Oh God. Too much. You are... <laughs> Stop talking. You are part of Cheshire's Chosen. Clinking the. Cup with the rest of the other members of this group will provide instant access whenever you. W oh, stop. How long does it take you to get your cup? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's only because that one stopped us. <laughs> so, um, thank you. Please do not abuse the power of the Cheshire Club. I wouldn't dream of it. I hate everything about this. Here you go. And he places a, a, a mug in front of you. Uh, 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 it, it's a the cup, but this tea cup looks like it was designed for you as it looks like a tiny beer stein. Uh, yes! Like that's a tea cup. Love every uh, second like, of this. Uh, so, and, and Bo places in front of you and uh, and leaves. Do we head upstairs? I never got any of your names. I'm the sword in hand. <laughs> I think you might be lying to me, but okay. Nice to meet you, Pointy. Hi. <laughs> no, quite happy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me Nix. Pleasure to meet you, Nix. Uh, wine in hand. <laughs> I'm called Bowie. Spent a lot of time near a fire day, Philly. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay. <laughs> Mandrake. Mandrake Madigan. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Uh, history check. Mm, yep. Mm. Uh, <laughs> nope, that's a solid eight. Sweet. Mandrake's a kick-ass name. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's favorite son. Here, I'll roll. You can call me that for now. That works. Whatever, whatever you say. Mm. All right. Uh, the group. <sighs> Uh, did anyone take the mace of disruption? Well, um, Edwin said that uh, yeah, he, 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 he I'm just going to put it on the table. Does anyone want to use that? That's all I got. I can hit stuff very good. Rock, I mean, paper, scissors. 
I'm, Winner takes it's it. It's a game I'm not familiar with. Okay, uh, Boulder Pressure, cheers. Are you going to have the sword uh, and the mace? <laughs> Take a dive inspiration for Boulder Take, Pressure, cheers. Technically, it's the potion he puts on his sword. No, the mace. Okay, one, two, three, then go. One, two, two three, three, and he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Mace of Disruption is yours. Uh, uh, just uh, just going to go ahead. I uh, it was a <laughs> <laughs> I am going to pass the poison to Grim. Uh, poison is yours, Grim. Thank you so much. Uh, after you coat your sword, the next thing you hit with it, uh, so it takes a bonus action to apply it. Okay. okay? So it, let me know when you apply it. Okay. Uh, I imagine the other potion is still in your possession. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, let me know when you take that as well, please. All right, heroes, you make your way towards Nix's room. Uh, the doorway is still set into the wall. Uh, a, a, you see Flint, who is very happy to see each and every one of you. Uh, as you make your way over towards the room, he hasn't seen you in quite some time, and hugs are exchanged, and so are... Uh, you know, be careful. I will see you soon. Uh, as you make your way over to this doorway in the wall, we're gonna open it. And when opens the door, I need a marching order, gang. As we make our way into one of Puck's pocket dimensions Great. that he has carved out for himself. First. Uh, okay, so Enwin. Second. Grim. Oh. You guys can't count. Thoey. After Thoey. <laughs> Thoey, wine in hand. I give Flint a kiss and I go through. Nyx, followed by Mandrake. Oh, um, we're probably going to need another figure for me because of my uh, channel divinity. Yes, I will get another figure for you. I will actually use C-3PO as your main figure and Oswald the Lucky Rabbit as your <laughs> channel divinity. Yes! <laughs> uh, as we get that uh, taken care of. And I will be extra gentle with these individuals right here. Uh, all of you make find yourselves walking through this portal into a large cavernous space. Uh, there are torches that line the walls around you. Each one of these torches seems to hover in the air a bit. Uh, past the torches are an inky black darkness. Uh, before you is a stone road that seems to wind from where this doorway opened um, off uh, further and further into the distance. Uh, these torches lining these Walls, like I said, are floating, and uh, this path that you can see from where you are currently seems to go on and on into the distance. Not much of a pocket dimension. I thought Puck had more of an imagination than this. Well, I mean, all we're going to do is take care of the dragon and piss off Prick. I mean, Puck, right? Uh, uh, if we could just kill him, that would really be better than just pissing him off. You're not wrong. That works too. Okay, so onward to piss off or piss on or fight and kill or be killed. Well, if we're pissing on, I need more to drink. All right. Hearty backslap. Right. Yeah. You begin to walk forward into the space. Uh, and when you are leading the charge, correct? Yep. Okay. Uh, as you lead the charge forward, uh, walking into the space, you take a few steps forward. Go ahead and give me a dexterity saving throw. I'm casting Mage Armor, by the way, just so that's... Okay, uh, I will say that you were able to cast that before... <laughs> five. A uh, five. Uh, as you uh, take a step forward, the stone brick upon which you are rocking, uh, walking on uh, sinks into the ground just a tiny bit. As that brick begins to sink into the ground, uh, there is a loud and audible click. Do not move! Oh, what a great idea. I was going to. Uh, not you blow you'd like, but just watch where you step. Okay. Um, um, I, because I... I would look down, check where I'm standing. Okay. See if anything has moved. There is nothing that has shifted at all. Okay. Uh, except for right under Enwin's foot. 
you see a, a, a small brick that has lowered into the ground. I would go up and try to examine the brick. Give me an investigation check. Hmm. I'm going to take a few steps backwards. Okay. This one 25. Not. Yeah. Uh, there's a brick that seems to have sunk into the ground. His foot is still there. Do I see any kind of, like... No. Hmm. You could pry up the other bricks around you in the area and see if you could uh, find anything around uh, that would give you any sort of hint. But right now, his foot is currently um, blocking anything mm -hmm. that you might see in the area. Okay. Um... I'm going to try to pry up one of the bricks behind okay. me that I know is safe. Okay. That's roughly the same size, weight. Okay. And somehow try to wedge it under his foot to hold that brick down. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, give me a sleight of hand as you... Uh, could I assist? Yes, you could. So take this at advantage as you try to wedge this brick underneath Edward's foot. Eighteen. Okay. You push this brick forward, uh, unhooking it from where it is, and wedge it so that it takes the weight up and try to do an Indiana Jones, yeah. where you're, you're basically having this brick take over the weight of where Enwin's mm. foot is. Uh, Enwin, do you lift your foot? Yeah. Uh, as Enwin lifts his foot off of the ground, you slide the brick over, and it seems to take on the weight of Enwin's foot, uh, holding the trap in place. Thank you. Um, perhaps I should lead and check the ground in front of us. Uh, if we're doing that, and I'm going to cast Guidance on Mandrake. Okay. By all means. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to check the ground uh, with each step and tell everyone behind me only step. You're doing this one step at a time. You're like taking a step, you're looking for traps, you're taking a step, you're looking for traps. In order to get everyone through, that's... Yeah. Yeah, you you begin to to meticulously, uh, and a fair bit of time goes past. Uh, give uh, give me a, an investigation as you check the ground for traps, uh, anything that might be in the way. In front of you, give me a D four. Do you want to be like super stealthy as we're walking in? Because I could probably help with that. Or are we just kind of barging in? Um, I really hadn't got past the. Well, keep I'm, things from blowing up well, part no, of the that, plan? That's good too, but are we also being sneaky, or are we just... I think we should be sneaky. We, we can definitely be sneaky. I, I'm good at that. Um, also, wait, we haven't started this yet, right? We haven't, because I haven't rolled, so we haven't started doing the brick thing, right? Sure. <laughs> that's the rule. I'm just, that's I'm the just, rule. I'm just checking. <laughs> if you don't lift your hand off the piece... Okay. It's still your turn. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you could help us with this. Um, if we don't touch the bricks, we can't set off any traps. You've oh. made me float before. Well, I can. I mean, I can't really make everybody... Oh, I could make everybody float if you guys are interested. I mean... I'm just throwing it out there because this is going to take forever. Well, I, I, I've got some friends and they've helped us fly yes, before. Which, the little fairies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they're pixies. You have pixie I mean, friends? Yes. You should really be accurate in your... Doesn't really matter. Fate. They're still going to listen to Puck. And we're in his pocket dimension, so I suspect that if you summon them, they're either going to tell him we're here, and we don't want that, or they're not going to do anything that's going to not be good for him. Got it. So they're slow... They're friends. Okay. So Sometimes things. friends don't listen and they hurt each other. They folk tend to be conditional friends. I'm going to look at Grim. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I'm sure. It was one time, man. One time. All right, fine. Then I'll at least help us be more stealthy. <laughs> okay, and I will check Pass every... Armor. Yay, armor. first ten on sneak. Uh, I uh, an insectoid uh, unfolds from uh, Edwin's back mm. and encompasses him in a sort of insect chitin or chitin. He's kind. Attention. 
<laughs> okay, so that was 13 plus 2, 15 plus 7, 22. And I would tell everyone, only step on the bricks that I step on. It is it is slow going. <laughs> uh, you do find one other brick that you think might lower down into the ground, and you avoid it handily, uh, making your way down this stone pathway. The stone pathway, illuminated by these torches, occasionally uh, will uh, the torch lights will flicker until you get to a very large door at the end of this pathway. Um, once again, the black outreaches of the room that go past where these torches are seem to stretch out. And you're right. It is not Puck's MO. Uh, this, is, this area is sparse and devoid of any sort of dramatic tension or things of that sort. Um, however, as you come up to the round door that's in front of you, it's one of those large doors that swings open. Uh, but like double-sided, uh, think Lord of the Rings as they're going into the mine, uh, and all, written on a script in Abyssal. Uh, does any hear, anybody here speak Abyssal? I think I do. I speak Elvish. My owl does. Your owl Come does on, speak Abyssal. Uh, so looking through your owl's eyes, uh, you hear uh, and but you know that to mean uh, pain before beauty. Oh, it's Puck, all right. This has pain before beauty. That's not how that usually goes. Hmm. It's kind of depressing. Okay, so, um, how do we open? I'm just. Hmm. Would you like me to please check it for traps? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Let's give me an investigation check. I think I broke it. <laughs> um, uh, it was under a 10, so that's a 10, 17. There are no traps on this door. However, there's no handle on this door. This door is, is other than this uh, script written in abyssal uh, uh, across the front of it, there are no handles, no windows, and, and no doors. doors. Um, uh, we are traps free? Since 83. Uh, I, hmm. I hate to... Yeah. To say this, but Nyx, do you think this is blood magic? You can identify magic, right? Yes, let me just touch the door for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just took two hours getting us down a twenty-foot stone path, so ten minutes doesn't sound bad. <laughs> Let's see. What do I want to do to get ready? <laughs> uh, Nyx, uh, spending ten minutes while everyone sort of sits around and being like, so... How do you feel the adventure's going so far? Uh, <laughs> next, after 10 minutes, you are able to identify the door, and the door does indeed require a sacrifice. But it is not blood. It's some sort of necromantic magic tied to the door, but it's not blood, necessarily. Uh, necromantic uh, magic, not uh, blood. So. Necromantic magic. I, so I would necromantic magic open the door? I, I, I asked Nix. <laughs> you can do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you cast? Oh, this is bad. I, don't I, can, I, can, I, can, I can do some necromantic magic. Okay, go ahead. Because all I have is a big old... I mean, pain before, so inflict wounds on the on door. On who? On the door. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Nothing happens. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Mm. Oh, this sucks. Thank mm -hmm. so much for that idea. Let's see. You know what it is, too. Mm -hmm. Crap. Okay. Let's do this. Boy, I need to roll low. I mean, if you're going to hit anybody One, with two, it, three. hit me. Now I'm hitting myself with it. Give me intelligence oh. check Okay, first. intelligence check. Alright, this is my first, first one. Oh, he doesn't know what happened to that dice. <laughs> oh, it's back! <laughs> 18 plus... You imagine... Um, before you cast what I think you're going to cast on yourself, <laughs> that maybe you should start small. I don't have anything smaller than that. And try casting a... Just something else. You think that maybe <laughs> okay. before walking into a dragon fight, casting Blight on yourself would not be the <laughs> smartest of no, ideas. I don't have any other necromancy spells. 
spell. I, I totally get I've that. I've got a handful. Um, the door itself has a necromantic <laughs> component to it. There is something that 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 a sacrifice is needed. Yes. This might be stupid, but I've done it before. And I'll just slide my hand along the corner of my oh, hat and put my blood it. against the door. Okay. Uh, how? Oh, it's not blood. Do not. How, uh, it's all right. How many points of damage do you take? Um, if, if I'm sliding my hand along the hat, no. I, I don't. I One? Don't. Yeah. I think as you slide your hand across, there's this intake of pain. And as you do, the room morphs for a second. Uh, as uh, these, uh, the darkness that you see is instead uh, cast with these bright red couches that seem to go on and on, and you're in a bit of a party atmosphere. Uh, as you <laughs> cut it through, ah! uh, as you do, the door begins to creak open a little bit, and that <clears throat> image fades away. Oh. Never mind. Okay. Well, that was much better than my idea. Let's well, that's it hasn't mm. happened since I've known you. Normally my ideas are much worse. I'll reach down, I'll grab a dagger from inside my bag. Mm. I'll hand him the dagger. <laughs> the You've already bled for this. Besides, your team, li these guys like you more than they do me. <laughs> and just a like, heavy slash across my hand. Eek. Uh, so as wine in hand cuts uh, his hand, uh, <laughs> I'm wishing he I'm had... On, I'm on brand. Because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, cutting his hand uh, and squeezes it. Uh, you take three points of damage cool. uh, from this dagger, and the door, uh, once again, for everyone, swings open, uh, and uh, wine in hand, you see a full-on rockin' party going on, but it's just you. <laughs> as people begin to wander the space... Um, lots of different people. Uh, elves, dragonborn, gnomes, dwarves. Um, all of them in, in this odd sort of shuffle about the space. They're, they're enjoying themselves, they're drinking, but it's an odd, it's an odd atmosphere. Uh, give me a history check. Cool. Super good at those. <laughs> That's a six. Six. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Uh, some of these people look familiar to you. You don't know why, hmm. um, but but it's just east of the back of your head. Like maybe you saw them in the club, the Cheshire Club, yeah. or one or two of them. Uh, you, you make Wait a minute, that a guy owes me five gold. That guy owes me. Yeah, it's exactly. It's one of those things where you're at a party and a whole bunch of people walk by. But uh, as that pain recedes away and the uh, the vision fades, hmm. uh, but the door is open. Going through. Okay. <laughs> um, where were you? Huh? For, for a second there, you were not looking at us. I saw couches when I cut myself. Yeah, there were couches, but there was a lot of people. It was like a party. And I think I saw a guy who owed me gold. That's another story. That does sound more like Puck style. Mm. Well, shall we? Uh, I suppose... I mean, we gotta follow him, right? <laughs> Grim's already walked in. <laughs> Um, yeah, Grim. <laughs> it's warm. It's real, real warm. Uh, walking through this door, you are now surrounded by rocks and the ground beneath your feet. Um, you can feel the heat radiating out of the ground. Off in the distance, a loud guttural roar sounds through the chamber that does not sound like a beast roar because it sounds too wet. Hmm. It's a death rattle. It's the coughing up of blood. You're not sure what the sound is, but it, Grim, as you are the first person to walk into the space, spread throughout the space are several objects of note. There are cages. Cages with humanoid figures in them. Uh, the You are close enough to see the humanoid figure stuck in this cage immediately as you walk in. Uh, represented by this little red dot over here. Okay. Right now, they're just sort of crumbled to the ground, laying at the bottom of the cage. Um, but that is what you see. Then, if they haven't come back yet, like I'm, I'm close enough I can relay information to them. And 
Uh, as you look back behind you towards where the door is, um, it is no longer there. Shit. Um, so if I'm the only one there that sees me, do they seem like they're in distress or that they are um, hurt or anything like that? Uh, uh, Investigation, yeah. maybe? Sure. I'm I I'm aware that the map cam is not getting the, the whole part. I'm trying to show right where Grim is walking in. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, who is following Grim? Let's let's establish that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, you all find yourselves in the space, and Grim is slowly walking forward towards where this humanoid is trapped in a cage. If there doesn't look... They're yeah. huddled up on the ground. I'm going right over to it. Crumbled up uh, and just sort of not moving at all. I'm going to try to communicate with whoever is there. If co Any coherent person in the cage. Okay. You are, hello? Are, are you all right? I'm trying to, like, is there a door or anything like the cage? It doesn't seem like there's a door on the cage. You might be able to stick your hand in. Harvey. Uh, yes, what is it? I need you to be a favor. Sure, yes, okay, anything. Put your hand in there. Would you like to ask something else, though? I, 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 I said everything, and now I, I, I feel like I, I, I may have overstepped when I said everything. <laughs> we, could, we could play a game, you and I. Okay. Put your right foot in. Do, do you feel? Uh, did, 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 have I ever communicated to you that I'm seven years old? I am. I'm not seven in years old. Gravity. We we are the game thing. The the thing. The, 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 no. Uh, no. 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 So we're not putting our hand. You may put your hand in. If you're telling me no, and you're a spectro being. Are we hearing this conversation? You're hearing this conversation happen. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna walk towards it. As I go, I'm going to cast Armor of Agathis. Okay. And then I'm going to... On who? Myself. It is the only one I can cast on. Okay. And I'm going to put my hand in. And just, like, stare. <laughs> I wouldn't very he well. Put, he put his right hand in. Yeah. You place your hand in and sort of shove the creature, and you hear a small moan come from the creature. It's not uh, From the human humanoid. Well, we very well can't leave him here, can we? We could. But nor is not to. May I make a suggestion that we handle that after we take care of the big angry thing that probably roast us all alive? <laughs> That's a good point. I was like again? Stein and Ale. <laughs> He's a good one. All right. We'll be back. Uh, at this point, you're all hearing the noises. I'm casting telepathic bond on everyone. All right. You all now can communicate telepathically with one another. I ask that if you do that, you put your hand, fingers to your head, and I know that that is not you speaking those words out loud. Hmm. If you speak in character and your hands are not to your head, I will assume that this is spoken out loud. Hmm. Okay? <clears throat> um, so, the air is stale. It smells of death. Um, th there is the cage that you saw off in the distance, and uh, you are now, as you make your way over throughout the cave, you begin to see the small pools of lava uh, that are adding a bit of heat to the cave. Um, next to these pools and spread throughout, uh, sporadically throughout the cave are these, I want to say rocks, uh, but they look lighter. They look uh, like porous, almost, um, I'm trying to think, uh, coral, like a, like, a, like a sea sponge or something along those lines. They seem out of place in this very hot environment. But anywhere on this map where you see the gray stone, uh, this is representation of that odd, porous-looking material. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, you're hearing the loud sort of <coughs> snoring that is taking place, uh, this wet, gurgling sound that seems to echo forth further into the cave. Grim's readying a sword, just in case. Sword is ready. Would Mandrake recognize any of these stones from his work in alchemy or anything like that? Give me a nature check as you start to look at these stones. Uh, as you creep forward towards one of them and begin to examine it thoroughly. Um, 
14? 14. Uh, you know what? It, it reminds you of... Um, it, it reminds you of a beehive. Okay. Okay. Uh, you think these tiny holes might be insect burrowing holes? Uh, I mean, at least that's what they look like? I would... I would relay, you know, that, that, that that's what it looks like up close, but I don't know what it is or what it does. Um, is there anything, like, around the ground? Like the ground is very warm. Uh, it's pebbly um, and darkened rocks that seem to litter the area. Corpses of any kind, bones? The only things that you see is past Mandrake, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, is another one of those black cages. Yes. Am I close to anyone? You are not. Darn it. You're 5, 10, 50, there's a, sort of a large a rock outcropping. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, have a, I have a question for you first. Okay. I have the Ring of Alchemy, which allows me to increase the potency of one potion once a day. Correct. That potion he has is already super powerful. Correct. Does it take an hour of meditation on that potion? Nope. All it says is, in addition, once a day, a wearer may choose to increase the potency of one potion. Okay. Do I have to ingest that potion for that to happen, or nope. I can just increase the potency? No. Nope. Uh, I believe you and I talked about, though, spending a bit of time oh, okay. with the potion. It's okay. just not written down on there. Oh, okay. So at least ten minutes of you, if you want to in this space... That is a choice that you can make. Um, I would um, tell, I would relay that to Enwin that I can, uh, I, I could use my Ring of Alchemy to increase that potion that you have. If you think it could be necessary, or I could increase a health potion of some kind, um, or we could just continue as we are, um, but it will take me 10 minutes minimum. That's up to you. That's assuming we're not interrupted by whatever it is that's coming. That is fair. I just guess as we were. <laughs> okay. I forgot I could do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I have a feeling that, based on the smell in here, he's not so much extending the life of the dragon, just staving off death a bit. It's a, it's a dragon who's dead, or dying, or ill. Look, I can or smell not so gold. dead anymore. Fair. I can smell gold from a mile away, and usually dragon caves smell a lot more like gold and a lot less like this. So, watch yourself, is what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Adventurers, what are we doing? Yes. I'm starting to walk towards this growl. I know if it needs to happen. Okay. Uh, five, ten. How close do you get? Is it? Is it something we can? How see? about this? Give me a perception check, buddy. Mm -hmm. Ten. Ten. Uh, <laughs> as you are getting close, you see a big pile of gold. In front of you, you move past the lava pits, and uh, Grim has separated himself from the rest of the group, and is walking forward. And you see a large pile of gold in front of you. Um, it's right in this general area right here. That's where it starts. <clears throat> Just bunches and bunches of gold pieces. Harvey. Yes. Kick it. Just, just a little piece. Just give it a little nudge. You want me to move full? I'm spectral. I can't. I mean, I, uh, so like, I mean, can I move? Can I move close up to it? Then have absolutely. Kind of like, How close do you want to get to the gold? It starts right here. Got it. And where am I? You're right here. Okay. I'm gonna be following. You don't have a little about a ten Mandrake. foot distance. Ten Mandrake. foot distance. There's lots of gold here, and um, can you say trap? Because I can. Can. Uh, be better judgment, Mandrake. Um, if Puck set this up. That's probably not real. Not only that, but where there's gold, there's usually a dragon. Fire. Oh, or that. Both. Or a dragon that breathes fire. 
<laughs> All of the above. Well then, uh, let's get over here as he yells at Tip. I'm reminds everyone. so I'm gonna go ahead and drink my potion of heroism. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay. Please keep track of what potions you have active. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna move over and put my hand on his shoulder. Study me for a moment. And and Mandrakes? Mandrake, yes. Okay. And I'm going to look through Athiel's eyes and have her... She's 120 feet vision. Correct. Can she see... Is that gold real? Uh, as she looks forward and sees the gold, yes, that gold is absolutely real. Give me a perception check for Athiel. Retirement fund. Please hold for... Retirement fund. Retirement fund. What her perception is. She has advantage on sight. Thank you, Grim, for the subscription. Five months in a row. We love you. Uh, guys, whether the gold is real or not, I don't think That's we should touch 20. it until after we take care of the dragon. 22. Oh, 22. But after uh, the dragon's this done. pile of gold that you see, as Athiel is looking at it and examining it, you can confirm that it is real, and it is not an illusory piece of gold. Um, however, the gold pile does begin to rise slowly and fall. Just rise and fall. I'm going to bring her back and go, ah, oh, there's something breathing under there. Just as a heads up. Something big. We'll start working around the other side. We'll okay. start creeping, so we'll stealthily moving across the... Stealthily moving across. Right, yeah. Uh, give me a stealth check. Oh. Are you still staying behind him? Oh, Grim. Yes. Okay, perfect. So that one. That one. Okay. Uh, hang on. Great. Ah, shoot, I can't do it now. Five, wait, wait, ten. Wait, wait. I might have. I don't think you got. I wish no. I, I wish you knew. I, I wish I knew you were sleeping. There. I'd have been able to wait. do anything. No, it's a saving throw. Okay. Uh, he goes. I'm gonna stealth up. I'm gonna sneak up. And as he gets close, as he, as he goes to sneak away from you, you, you go. Uh, there is a. He trips. Uh, it is a. It is a. Gaff, it is a fluke. He kicks over onto a little rock, and as he does, he hits the ground, and it's a... It's the growl that he normally yeah. does. Uh, as he does, the the pile of gold in the room stops breathing. Uh, it freezes for a second as the lump sort of spreads out like this. Um, and then, with a large uh, roar that seems to echo throughout the entire space... Um, a shape begins to unfold itself from this pile of gold. Uh, what once was red, uh, wet, red serpent skin uh, and scales is now filled with tiny holes that seem to permeate uh, all of his body. Uh, the wings themselves uh, have turned a dull shade of gray. Uh, and they seem out of place with this sort of red body, and the thing is gargantuan. It is the largest creature that you have ever seen. I'm going to dimension door in front of Grim. Okay. Uh, there is a loud pop, and then you uh, you appear in front of Grim as Grim uh, gets himself up out of the ground, and this form um, un hides itself and makes itself its appearance known, moving forward to stare in your direction, cocking its head. It does not do anything. It just turns its head to the side. Its white eyes sort of scanning the space, looking around. A little bit of like gold drops out of its mouth as it opens its mouth and it sort of makes a clicking sound. Some of the gold falls out and hits the ground, clanging on the ground, and it darts its head down. Do you think it might be blind? Is there any random, like, gold pieces that are kind of near where our feet are? Or at least at a reaching distance? Not within reaching distance. Um, would... I, I can see the holes in the skin. You, uh, you begin to move your way forward. Give me a stealth check. <laughs> oh, it's not bad. Um, you're, are you still within 30th Philly? Uh, am 
I still within 30 feet of Thoey? Because you'd have passed without a trace of him. Oh, not anymore. Okay. Well, um... Add a 10 to that stealth. I'll say as you move out of her range. Okay, well, then I got 13 plus 4 plus 10. 27. 27. 27 is what you needed. As you move your way past that area and scoot up close, you can see the holes in this giant uh, draconic form in front of you. Would I be able to put together the fact that that looks like a beehive and this looks like it has bug holes in it? You might be able to put that together. Guys, totally. <laughs> <laughs> so you hear a small telepathic chuckle. <laughs> Is it undead? <sighs> Undead or being powered by whatever was inside of these hives. But it it's also might be blind. Um, am I am I within enough space to mage hand a coin? Five, ten. What is the range on mage hand? Thirty feet, I believe. No, you'd have to move closer. Give me a stealth check without pass without a trace. Sorry. Again. Really supposed to like just, just on his like hands and knees, knees to just slow. Both of you give me a self check. Can you just feel the incredulous look from me? That's okay because uh, that is a 13 plus 27. You beat me. 13 plus 4, eight, uh, 17. I hope this works. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as you creep forward, uh, the dragon is still darting its eyes back and forth in, within the space and does not see Grim creeping forward towards where the, right. the gold is. He is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet away from where this thing is. If this works, we might be able to catch it off guard. If? <laughs> I'd, I'd rather work on if than no. Fair. Rock and roll, buddy. I'm, gonna, oh, I'm just going to grab a piece. I'm going to throw it. If it darts its direction, then we might have an opportunity. You pick up the gold piece. I'm just going to grab it and just just throw it. Give me a ranged attack when, roll. The moment he throws, I'm tossing a dart in the other direction. Okay. Just a ranged attack? Um, is that an unarmed Both attack? of you give me ranged attacks as you throw in different directions. Uh, 26. 26? Um, let's see. How would I do ranged? Oh, how would I do that? Are you eating it with strength or are you eating it with dex? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I guess that would probably be good. So that would be uh, 13. Wait, I'm sorry. It would be straight. It would be better. So uh, 18, 16. Everybody roll initiative. Farkin Wagner. Uh, as uh, these rocky surfaces come to life, uh, uh, these winged bugs flying out of them and forming a small halo above the undead dragon. Uh um, biting at the flesh, but tugging the head in a particular direction. Uh, as the dart flies off one direction, it's fine, but the bugs turn the head of the undead dragon towards the sound of the coin. Uh, I need all of you to get roll initiative. Uh, let's go ahead and roll initiative for this guy first. Okay. Whew, it's going to be big. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, 20 to 25. 22. 22 for Enwin. Uh, 20 to 15. 16. 18. 19. 19. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. Yeah. So we go Mandrake, Nyx, Wine in Hand. Mm. Okay. Uh, 15 to 10. 11. 11. And after that. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Not one here. Not one. Okay. That. Uh, we now go right into the battle. Uh, Enwin, you are up first, followed by Mandrake, followed by Wine in Hand. So. Nix then, then me. Uh, Mandrake. Yep, yeah, Nix. Thank you. Enwin, Mandrake, Nix, Wine in Hand. Other one. Cool. Great. Yeah. I'm going to. Walk at an angle to Grim. Okay. Walk at an so, angle to Grim. Uh, how? This direction? Uh, it would be to your right and a few ahead. 
Okay, uh, this is difficult terrain. This is lava, so you're going to need to walk around that. So yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? One more that way. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh God. And I'm going to cast an Aptic Static hmm. on the head of the dragon and try to catch as many of those bugs as I can with it. Okay, that's a uh, great move. Uh, so, is armor of Agathis still? It is not a concentration spell. It is not a concentration it is still spell. Active. It it, is can you active. wear that if you have armor on as well? It just doubles up because mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. the tightness. Okay, yep. uh, that's perfect. Uh, so, what is is there a saving throw? Intelligence seventeen. Intelligence seventeen. Uh, this will not surprise any of you. I did not come up with an intelligence save for these bugs, uh, but they definitely did not uh, make that save. So uh, as you send a, uh, this manifests as a lightning that issues forth. Uh, you choose a point within range and cause psychic energy to explode there. Psychic energy. Each creature in a 20 foot radius sphere center on that point must make an intelligence saving throw. All right, I'm gonna uh, make a save for the dragon as well. After a failed save, a target has muddled thoughts for one minute. During that time, it rolls a d6 and subtracts the number rolled from all its attack rolls and ability checks as well as constitution saving throws to maintain concentration. Done. Perfect. Uh, the dragon makes his save, uh, but these bugs are going to take the full brunt of this. Uh, as you go to cast this and you muddle the thoughts of the essentially seeing eye dog. <coughs> 19, 20, 21, 23, 26. 26. Or half. Uh, a bunch start. of these creatures just fall. Fall to the fall to the ground, start hitting the ground. Uh, uh, the, the thing is covered in flies that seem to land on its shoulders and sloth off of it, m intermingling with the gold pieces in front of it. Doing anything with your bonus action. That's it. Okay. Uh, that is your turn and win. Uh, Mandrake. Um... I'm going to... Where am I? You, I'm, you are back here. Uh, how far away is that? Five, uh, um, seven, 14, uh, 19, 24, 29, 34, 39, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 feet away. 60 feet away, okay. Um... Got small pits of lava and some of these larger rocks around the area. Okay, and I don't get sneak attack. There's currently yeah. nobody within. No. Yeah. Five, yeah, it's got a long reach on it, but nobody has gotten close to this thing yet. Okay, and it's, it has provoked any sort of opportunity close up with it. Right. Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. gonna Would you like to hold your turn, hold your attack until somebody gets within range of it? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'll hold you my doing attack. anything with your bonus action? Uh, with my bo yeah, I am. Give me one second here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do true strike. Okay. Wait, that's an action. True strike. It is. Yeah. Darn it! Never that's mind. Right. You're gonna I hold, hold your turn. Got it. That is your turn, Mandrake. Uh, Nix. Okay, so what enemies are there at the moment? Right now, the the one that you see is this thing had a bunch of floating bugs around its head, okay. and then it did does it has very it has less of them now, and so far you have the creatures in cages, uh, humanoid figures in cages, in the space, and this large dragon in the room. That's so the only real enemy is the dragon and the flies around it. That is up to you, my dude. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hold Firebolt. I'm not going to cast it just yet. What are you holding Firebolt for? Uh, the flies surrounding the dragon. Okay, so you're gonna holding holding your attack is like I will do this when this happens. I'm gonna wait till the end and see if the if more flies gather around the yes. dragon, then you'll cast Firebolt on the dragon to see if. Okay, that is your turn. Wine in hand. Okay. Um. Right now, uh, uh, Grim was trying to crawl forward, and that's when it woke up. So yep. he's sort of crawling forward to grab the gold coin and throw it. Mm -hmm. And then he's in front of you, uh, but you're also next to Mandrake. So you're a little ways away. And the insects flew out of those little mounds. The so. in insects flew out of those little mounds. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to break a mound. <laughs> 
Perfect. Okay, uh, which I'm taking one? a swing with the Mace of Disruption on the one directly in front of me. Okay, uh, give me an attack roll. As you bring that mace around, you're like, I got an idea. Let's see if I... Ah, whap! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, give is, me an attack roll. That is a 15 hit. 15 hits, yeah. Uh, roll damage for me. I don't suppose these are undead mounds. <laughs> uh, the mounds are not. <laughs> eh, boy can dream. Okay, Mace of Disruption is 1d6... Five plus three, eight points of damage on that. Uh, eight points of damage as this mound is not one of the larger ones and you hit it with the uh, mace. The uh, insects inside of them, however, feel like they are affected by the uh, the energy around uh, the mace of disruption. And uh, I think they need to make a save, correct? Um, if they've gotten less if than... If they are at below 25 hit points, they will be DC 15 wisdom save, or they, they are kaboom. They fail that save, and all of them come out. It is like it is like using a hammer that is attached to a bug zapper. As you hit it, the mound breaks, and all of these things... <laughs> <laughs> and I to, like my new toy. <laughs> and begin to explode around the area. That particular mound is off the playing field, cool. as it has been destroyed. All right. The bugs within it. Uh, um, would you like to do anything with your bonus action? I would like to move. Okay. Um, all 40 feet of my movement. Actually, okay. uh, next closest one. Uh, so right over here? or like? Uh, the next oh, closest the next closest mound. mound. Have, yes. uh, right back here. Yep. So okay. bonus action, martial arts. Okay. And I'm going to burn a key point. Let's make it flurry of blows. All right. I feel like this is my gauntlet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, things go. Uh, um, that is... Yeah. Do, 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 do. That's an 11 and a 16. 11 and a 16. Uh, both of those hit with your flurry of blows. Uh, roll damage for me as you just start nice. pounding into this one. Uh, that is da, 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 14 points of damage. Yep. This mound explodes, sending the bugs out of it, cool. flying forward in your direction. Cool. Uh, they, one of the fun things about Drunken Master... Uh, if I use my flurry of blows, I get disengaged, so I'm going to move away 10 feet. You <laughs> do. <laughs> so, uh, as the bugs all come out, you go, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Bye. There you go. Boom. Can you, can you see chat right now? Uh, monks rule. Also, you're right all going to kick that. Yeah, right above that. Oh, Edwin's turn. Give him the wild magic. Great, 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 great. Oh as some of the wild magic inherent in the area uh, begins to... Uh, come forward and manifest. Uh... Nope, you're not packing up. Are you... I was looking for my D100. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the chaos died. Yay! Uh, it is now the dragon's turn. Uh, the dragon, uh, knowing that there are uh, things around it, uh, will go ahead and use its poison breath in a 30-foot cone, reaching outward. I need Enwin and... Grim, uh, the only ones that are currently up and close with it, to give me a DC con save, please. 20. Good, Grim, good. That's going to be a 25. 25. Both of you make this, so yes. uh, uh, you, you uh, feel this odd, uh, like, poisonous substance enter your person. And it begins to like sink into you as this thing basically like throws up this odd viscous material onto your person. And it makes an odd clicking sound as it does. You each take 33, no, 28 points of poison damage. Okay. Uh, and you have this odd viscous material all over your body. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Uh, that is what it's going to do with its turn. Uh, it is then going to move forward towards where it's, where it's sprayed. Uh, these bugs are going to fly out of this particular rock and begin to surround its head. Uh, and uh, this one is now empty of bugs. Uh, so uh, uh, all of the bugs leave that spot and it, the, the rock deflates a tiny bit as uh, you see all the bugs leave and surround this thing's head. And as it does, it directs its eyes forward and down towards where you are laying prone on the ground. I'm prone? You were, you were laying on the ground. You, yeah, you were like, true. army true. crawled over. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is its turn. Thoe. Okay, uh, can I get within 60 feet of this thing? Uh, what is your movement? Uh, my movement is 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, you are not going to be able to get within 30 feet of this. If you use the 60. dash action, 
60, 60 feet. feet. Yeah. Because I was kind of out of the room when everybody was... Yes, you out. will be able to get within 60 okay. feet of this thing. So, uh, what I'm... Uh, first of all, uh, I don't know if it's a bonus action to take this out, but I'm carrying my... Which I have not really used before. My okay. ghost lantern. Okay. Uh, the only thing of note with the ghost lantern, I do have mage hand that can come out of it, but the only thing to... Of note is that if I fall unconscious... You take the ghost lantern out and hook it to your belt. It will stabilize me. Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, so I am going to cast fairy fire on that dragon. Fairy fire on the yep. dragon. Dex save. That is going to have to make a dex save of 15. Okay. And it would also be on the bugs if you aim it high enough. Yeah. I mean, mm. whatever I can get in the, into that 20 foot cube. You're going to catch all of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is the dex save for fairy fire? Dex save of 15. Okay. Uh, that is a 17. Uh, I will roll for his buddies. That's a 18 for the buddies. Uh, they all seem okay. to avoid uh, flying out of the way and missing this uh, fairy fire, which goes to coat them. That's your action. You do anything with your bonus action? Well, uh, I can do cantrips, correct, with a bonus action? You, it, no, as long it as it does it's... not matter anyway, because I don't have any bonus action cantrips anymore. Never mind. Ooh, no. Arr. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, on that turn, it's going to uh, reach out its claws and make an attack against uh, Chris. Uh, oh, thank Gr goodness Chris isn't here. Just Chris isn't here, but Grim, unfortunately, is going to take the hit. He, it rolls in that one, though. Yes! So, uh, so these claws kind of reach forward, and you go, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, yeah, don't get up, but you kind of crawl out of the way as these claws go, and, like, slam into the ground where you are, causing these large divots to rise up. Yeah. So now he's made an attack on somebody. He <laughs> has made an attack against somebody, and he's within your allies' range. Yeah, I will say uh, you can give me an attack roll. Uh, and I have Hung bless Hung. going right yeah. now, so I get a plus, plus four. Yeah. You have your heroism potion, yeah. which yeah. automatically puts bless on me according to the stuff on the. Correct. Board. So you can roll a d4 to attacks and saving throws. Oh, okay. Not so to, to damage. To, to, to so the, yeah. The so this is yeah. to the attack. This is to the attack. Okay. Hashtag bless. Hashtag bless. Oh, I get to roll at advantage though, because. Why? No, I don't. Never mind. Sorry. No, it, that's a this is a, this is an actual this is actually a really good strategy to be like, but I also get this at right. advantage uh, <laughs> because this specifically. Said. I whiffed. You whiffed. Yeah. Uh, well, um, for the what did you get on the the D twenty? I got a two. So the hat stays there. Well, uh, no, then I got an eight on the second roll of the D twenty. Okay. Um, which means the hat returns. The hat returns. The hat flies forward, its blade spinning, but uh, the dragon, sensing it coming for some reason, dodges out of the way. The hat flies off onto the side. Uh, that is your turn. Uh, that was your held action. Grim, your turn. Yeah, so I get three attacks per action. So you're going to use half your movement to get up. Right. Okay. okay. Up. So I'm up. So that counts one action? That's nope, that's just half your so movement. As you four. get up okay. and you just oh, make no, a bum rush right. for... So how, how close am I to the dragon? Pretty damn close. Okay. This thing just tried to claw you. You're like, manicure. yeah. Would it, would it be would it be fair to say that like as I'm rolling, I kind of I just grabbed a handful of uh, coins? Uh, no, it's not fair to say. Okay. Uh, if you would like to do that, uh, that's that's bonus definitely something you could do. Snack some coins. I would say bonus action on the way would be generous. If if you wanted to snag up a handful of coins and, kill it. and 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 <laughs> so what are you trying to do? So, here? Trying to... so here's what I want to do. Cause Drawing its attention with the gold. I have three, and I don't know if this yeah. works like this, but okay. what I want to do is I want to like just times. grab like a handful of coins. <laughs> okay. I want to <laughs> jump <laughs> past it. Like, jump past. Or like, it's parkour. Like, right. As I land, parkour throw parkour. a coin the opposite direction, so that way it averts its gaze somewhere else. Because obviously, if, if I threw one way, it it went towards the sound of the coin. Okay. And then I want to, once I'm behind it, or... It You're hoping to gain advantage on this by, by distracting it by throwing a coin. Right, and then I want to attack. Tell you what, how many attacks do you get? I get three attacks per action. If you burn through one of your attacks, Done. I will I, I will say that you snag up a coin, and you throw it in hopes to, to distract this thing. Cool, and then I just want to get behind it just to... Just to <laughs> okay. All right, so... Uh, your first attack is going to have advantage. The second one does not. Okay. Uh, okay. First attack is advantage. Okay, so that's a nat 20, and I, I'll take that one. And then, let's see, for the... Oh, boy. Yeah. Damage. Bear time. That is going to be a... 
plus eight. That's fair. Twelve. Twelve points of damage. Do you choose to bring out the spectral bear stored in your? Oh, girl, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, bear. The, uh, the the <laughs> the spectral bear manifests in front of this dragon, and there's a. <laughs> as the bear looks up <laughs> at the <laughs> at the giant uh, half undead dragon. Uh, roll roll the. Do you get a half? So do me a favor. You roll the D twenty. Right. Roll another D twenty for take me. D twenty. You take half that total and add to the first one. You rolled that nat twenty. Okay, so that is going to be. What does it say on the dice? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, perfect. So you're gonna you're gonna roll double damage for me right Yay. now. Okay. And I'm right. using a. This is your vorpal sword. <laughs> right. So, so roll the damage for the vorpal sword and then add your pluses to it. Uh, gr- this is Grim's turn, and when you're coming right up so next, it's okay. Sixteen points of damage. I see the top though. Plus. Hey, we go back to the top of the initiative order. Those flies did join. Yeah, join him. They so did. So I will let you. I will let you pull off this fireball before your turn ends. What's the range on fireball? A hundred and twenty feet. Five. Well, hang on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, I'll say yes. Okay. You standing at the very back of this room, it's going to stretch the limits of your spell casting. Okay. As you are basically about 120 feet away, being like, you guys got this! <laughs> I believe in you! Yeah. I believe in a thing called... Fireball. Oh, 24 points of damage. 24 points of fire damage. And that's just the first attack, correct? That was the first one. The other one was a 12, and that was 7 points of damage. Okay, the 12 does not hit. Cool. Uh, so you've done 24 points of damage. Congratulations, you have his attention. Yay, I did it! <laughs> Super! So Grim good. continues to... Was this... Before I, before I fire, <laughs> would this dragon happen to be a fire type dragon? <laughs> true. It's a water do, do you know? Would you know? Can you make an argument as to why you would know? I cannot. Could you? Well, hang on. Um, may I? Go ahead. They'd be written about in books, right? So an arcana check might be able to do it. What? What? Nothing. I just realized that the one of the biggest spells I have has no effect on undead. This is unfortunate. Well, only for her. Nothing. Nope. Go ahead. Keep going. I'm just going to do it anyways because of those bugs. Do it. Okay. That's what I'm aiming for anyways. Here. Okay. Go for the controller. Um, so that's a... You're aiming specifically for the bugs, correct? Um, yes. That's okay. what I said. Oh, Got it. So 24. Is it a deck save? Yeah. No, for it's fire bolt? No, fire bolt. Okay. It's an attack. Oh, fire bolt. Fire bolt. Bolt. He did okay. yes. bolt. Cool. It's a Give me an attack roll. Uh, 24. 24 to hit. Hits. All right. Uh, 24 points of fire damage. 24 points. Uh, those bugs fall. Do, 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 cool. As the fireball uh, flies forward from your hand, uh, ends up in the center of them, and they all sort of are attracted to it. I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, and they, Sweet bugs I reference. Yeah, and they, uh, they make their way towards it and uh, immediately disintegrate. Cool. He is currently without this halo. Right, that's all I need. Does he look slightly more Halo. disorientated than previous? Give me a perception check as a free action. Cool. Uh, it's a 15. Uh, he does look a little di- more disoriented without Yay. those bugs. Uh, uh, with uh, at the end of his turn, at the end of his turn, he will uh, stomp his feet a little bit, uh, sending a new patch of bugs uh, flying forward, and that halo returns back towards where he is. Uh, oh, now it's Mr. T. Now he's Mr. T. I pity the fool. Uh, we go back to the top of the round with Enwin. All right, so do I roll this chaos dice before I do things? Or yeah, I... let's do it. Please on a pot of plant. Please on a pot of plant. Please on a pot of plant. Oh, wild magic. magic. 96. 96. <laughs> 96. <laughs> I only do this because I know how much you love wild magic. So much. It's like you may be. I will oh, let you so choose no. 96 or 69. Giggity. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go 69 because I'm a child. <laughs> uh, who is within yep. 30 feet? Grim and the bear. Right? Not me. And the dragon. <laughs> Grim, not the it. bear, and the dragon all vanish. Oh, oh, son of a gun. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like the start of a really great joke. That's, uh... Uh, and when included. All of them vanish. Um? Uh, 
Okay. Like, you are still in the space. You just look down and you cannot see yourself. Like, so did we win? <laughs> one, one just looks around. Oh, Dragon's no. gone. So did we win oh, no. or? Oh, no. That's what we oh, needed. No. Inviso dragons. Oh, we have an invisible That's undread, undead exactly red dragon. That's what even we better. I love right. this. I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. <laughs> okay. To be fair, you and gave I'm him a lot of the reveals. <laughs> Great. Mm, yeah, you know what? I'll allow it. Uh, you look through, and, and uh, Grim is next to you going, what the hell? And his ghost bear is like, <laughs> and then uh, the, 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 dragon, uh, the dragon seems perfectly uh, fine in this space as the bugs have tilted it, its head back down towards where the two of you are. Okay. Rude. Um, but you can see mm-hmm. none of your attacks will be at advantage as you continue to look through Athel's eyes. I hate it. Okay. Uh, we're just going to six Eldritch Blast. Six Eldritch Blast. Uh, the minute he casts these spells, and uh, uh, when reappears back in the space, uh, as oh, uh, do, 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 uh, firing no. off, uh, give me six, count them, six attack rolls. Uh, okay, everything's plus nine. Okay, 16. Uh, 16 does not hit. 17. 17 does not hit. 23. 23 does not hit. I'm kidding, it hits. Yeah, roll the <gasps> I was okay. like, can we just, we're all going to uh, die now? <laughs> 26 and 27. Those all hit. And then a 18. Uh, 18 hits. Okay, cool. So 8, 12, 18, 22. 22. 22. Points of damage. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a massive hit as Enwin just goes. Does this burn through your bonus action as well? Yes. Okay. Are uh, you doing anything with your movement? No. Okay. You are visible in the space, uh, Mandrake. Is the dragon visible now? No. No, it didn't attack. Even if it got okay. Nope. Uh, free action. It, 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 spell it did not cast the spell on itself, so it's cool. not making concentration checks gotcha. on it. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Uh, free action. Okay. Oh, hey, we got a raid. Uh, I'm going to touch. Hi, some... Action Sturge. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for the raid. Yay! A uh, couple of things. I'm couple going things. to, one, uh, say, Graham, if you're still here, maybe we use the poison she gave us? <laughs> Too much Grim poison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cusco's poison. The poison for Cusco. That poison. 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 Right, right, poison. That poison. Yes, that poison. Got it right here. Okay, so, one. Um, I cannot see the dragon. You cannot. Great. Correct. Uh, so any attack against it will be at disadvantage. Well, my last one was so But fun. you know where Enwin is facing. And it's very large. Okay. Um, I it is it's still, very large. I'm still within. Um, you are. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you what. I'm not going to give you a, a disadvantage in this. Okay. I'm just going to up its AC. Okay. It's still large. <laughs> it's still large. I'm not going to give you disadvantage on this one. I'm just going to up its AC a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Because it's super low already. It's super low already. <laughs> so g- give me a give me a roll here. Trash Panda TV, thanks for subscribing. Well, I'm robbing you blind. Like, robbing you blind. Thank you. That's very sweet. Robin is an all-star. What's that attack? 15 plus... Eight, so 23 plus 3, six. 26. 23 plus 6. 23 plus 3, 26. 26. Yes. Yes, that hits. Roll damage, adding your sneak attack damage to that as well. Uh, knowing that uh, this is Mandrake's turn, uh, and then uh, uh, Nyx, you are eight? up next, followed by Wine in Hand. Cool. Um, I'm going to cast a uh, firebolt. Okay. Hang on. Let's let him roll damage here because this could change what happens. 17. 18. Okay. 18 and a half. 19, 20. 23. 23. Uh, 23 points of damage. Okay. And 13 um, on my return, so half returns. 
Okay. Uh, 23 points of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, on the dra uh, on this turn, after this happens, uh, the dragon is going to scream out as you see these cuts, and it's leaking this liquid fluid that seems to drop off of it in little black spatters on the ground. As it screams outward, it loses the halo as the bugs around it immediately start dissolving into the air. Uh, they start dissolving in little tiny, like, puffs of black smoke that the dragon inhales. And as it does, some of the wounds around it begin to close. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, so, uh, it breathes in. Yeah, it as it breathes smoke, in, it uh, some of the wounds on it begin to close. So would we see this black hickory? We can't see the dragon, but we can see the stuff. You would see out black little drops like falling to so the we ground. Know where it is. Uh Enwin would see through the eyes of a feel this dragon go like scream outward. The bugs all turn into these little like wisp of smoke and he breathes in and as he does the wounds around the dragon begin to close. All right. Uh, I'm gonna um, for my bonus action. All right. Um, he needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> for for my bonus action. For your bonus action. Um, I am. Um, I'm gonna. On, uh, is there is there like a big rock nearby? Anything? There's one of those. Uh, one of those. Uh, there's a cage off to your left, or there's one of those little uh, chorus rocky, rocks over chorus that rocky one. thing. Yeah. I'm gonna um, I'm hide behind a porous rock. Hide right. behind a porous rock as you go hiding over there. Uh, give me a stealth check as you attempt to hide behind that rock. Nat twenty. Hey. Nat, you are you are the wind. You are <laughs> as of a you are of the god kind I'm in the terms of hiding. One. Uh, that is that is your turn, Mandrake. Nix. Okay, so there's the three rocks in a row there. Correct. Uh, one, one and two, three. Is that triangle uh, a the group bugs. of bugs? The bugs that, that is a I group smashed. of bugs that he smashed. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to shoot a firebolt at them. Okay. Uh, give me an attack roll. All right. That's going to be a 22 to hit. Yeah. Uh, I will say if you roll... 18 points. Yeah. These bugs uh, disappear. And I'm uh, gonna eliminated from the field use my whatsoever. Movement to get a bit closer to uh, the battlefield, this guy, since I'm so far away. Yes, you are very far away. Uh, this side. Um, this side. Yeah, a bit around there. Yeah, okay, that works. perfect. All right, next. That is your turn. It's from me. Uh, what would you like to do? Wine in hand. Uh, let's close the gap between me and um, where Big Scaly used to be. Big. Okay. I had 40 feet of movement. Let's rock this noise. Let's do it. Uh, seven, I say 14, yeah, 21, 28, 10. I'd say you get up close and personal with this guy. Cool. Um, I'm going to channel divinity and invoke duplicity. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, another wine in hand, uh, shows up and there is a quick, who are you? I am you. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not me, you. I am you. you. Uh, and two of them appear in the space. All right. Fine. <laughs> Doing anything with your bonus action? Oh, oh, let me God, see. Do I see Grim? I do not. <laughs> uh, you do not see I Grim. I do not see Grim. Okay. You uh, do not see Grim. You Grim, do not Grim. see the dragon. Uh, how close am I to Enwin? Actually, you would see the dragon. The cool. dragon appears in this space. Cool. Uh, Enwin is very close to you now. He's closer to the duplicate. Awesome. Uh, is he within five feet of the duplicate? Uh, he is. Sweet. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds through my uh, duplicity. Okay. Uh, you are cured. I don't. I'm, I don't look hurt at all. Mm. Oh, mm. fair enough. Okay. Are uh, you resistant to poison? Hmm? Oh no, because that would have been an action anyway. Points from armor My apologies. Actions. You do. Hmm? Yeah. So, cure wounds is an action. So disregard. Yeah. No worries. Um, so this would be a bonus action here. Yeah. So I need a bonus action thing. Um. Oh. Um. Burn a key point to take the. Or yeah. Burn a key point for step of the wind and take the dodge action. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so you have the dodge action. So any attacks made against you are right. going to be at disadvantage. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is your turn. Uh, we go to the dragon's turn, who is just going to start wailing away at Edwin, who has done the most uh, damage to him. So let's do this. He's going to make 
Um, two. Two claw attacks. Uh, so that's a 24 to hit. Hits. He's right. going to take 25 cold damage. Right. Every time he does a melee attack, he takes 25. Uh, not, okay, that's fair. Welcome uh, to Agathis. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So 14 piercing damage. Okay. And 7 necrotic for the first one. Okay. Okay. And he takes how much? Uh, 25 for easy. Every time. Not after this, because that'll knock all of them out. Okay. Uh, next claw attack. Uh, 24. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be... Nine, uh, 14 slashing damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... 3 necrotic. Okay. And then a bite. Nat 20 on the bite. Great. Let's do it. Uh, Actually, let's... after the second attack, I would like to use my reaction to be farther away. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. fair. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, after nice. that second attack, you're just going to be like, uh, I'm Bye. out. Okay. No, no. Uh, where are you going? In bay. Because uh, you can go 60 feet. Off to the side that way. This way? And a little bit to your, like on the other side of the... Lava. Of the liquid yeah. hot magma. Right. 30 feet, right? Oh, God. And when's dead. No! He oh, fell in wow. the lava. Anyway, it was nice playing, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I got my Tuesdays free. <laughs> uh, that, that is, yeah. Away from the dragon. Uh, so instead, who's visible here? Um, Yo, what's up? Wine is. There you go. Uh, but Wine is dodging, so he's going to make this bite attack. Uh, that was a nat tw I rolled a nat 20, but this is going to be a disadvantage. <laughs> I'll say that this, uh, this negates it. Next time, do that before I roll the attack roll. Okay. That seems like it'd be better. Um, so uh, this is a... 26 to hit. Oh, that hits. Okay. So that is... Yeah, that's fine. Um, 11 points of piercing... No. 16 points of piercing damage. Okay, that's fun. And then... Super great. Uh, two points of necrotic. That is all of his turns as he unleashes this torment uh, upon each and every one of you. Mm. All the rude gestures is free actions. <laughs> All the rude gestures. Uh, <laughs> he is visible. Uh, that is his turn. Thoe. Okay, so um, I am going to just move just a little bit so I can cast a spell without hitting whoever is right in front of me. I just want to move okay. over a tiny bit. I just need I need a 60-foot line, line <laughs> straight towards him. You need a 60-foot line straight. Yeah, because I am going to cast Sunbeam. I'm using my new... Um, Sunny D! Unleash Woo. the power of the sun. Uh, uh, it will last for up to a minute, and I can keep changing it. He is going to be able to make a con save of 15, but it is at disadvantage because he is undead. Okay, so con save at disadvantage. Con save at disadvantage. It's a five foot wide, 60 foot line. Uh, each creature in the line, I'm going to see if I can get some of these bugs in on it. It too. is a 16 on the save. Oh, higher. Well, okay, he still gets half damage. He's okay. just not blinded. And I can try again on the next turn. Uh, I do not know if... Okay, so it says concentration up to a minute. It says... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. You can create a new I line of radiance as your action on any turn until the spell ends. So that's for a minute. But I don't know if he technically made his save. If that's if I'm out of luck or if I get to... New line of radiance this is Sunbeam. Down. So I don't know if I have every keep creature. It for the one if minute. you keep casting it on the creature, you're 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 sending. He makes a con save every time. Fourth, another line, I believe. Okay, um, that's what I uh, thought. Help me out on the ruling of this, Icky, if you're watching. Uh, uh, as like, uh, well. So half damage will be ten. 18, 20, 22, so half damage will be 11 oh, points well, of radiant damage. 11 points of radiant damage, okay. Yeah. Uh, I just don't know if he's going to have to make a con save every time or if he's automatically so. just half damage. He has to make the con save every time. Okay. Yeah, it's not it. permanently. Uh, he will go ahead and stomp the ground with that, uh, uh, sending forth another round of bugs in his direction after that move, uh, floating above his head. There's not that many of those... Yep, there's not that many of them left. Um, but another group of bugs fly around his head. Are uh, you doing anything with your bonus action, Thoey? Nope. All right. Um, okay. All right. Uh, that's uh, Thoey's turn. Grim. I'm still like, invisible, right? You're still invisible. Guys, 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 guys. How, how do I get out of this? Very Hit careful. the thing. Uh, so he, I'm going to use the potion on my, my vorpal Bonus sword. action. 
Uh, the uh, thing on the... Yep, okay. okay. So, Layeth the smacketh down. Okay, so... Would he have advantage because I've been, because he's being harassed? The Dargan. What do you I tend to do flanking of, like, physical? three sides. Yeah. If Enwin was still there, okay. I would argue yes, but he Enwin... Ran. Like a coward. Yeah. And, and no, no, no. It was the smart. Preservation. It is the mm-hmm. smart choice right now, as Enwin sort of backed so off. Um, but, but you're not going to have advantage on this attack. No. So this is, this that was my like that was your my bonus action. action right. No, your bonus action coats the sword with the okay. poison. So 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 Who's goes poison? All right. Poison for drag. That poison. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. That twenty. That twenty and a twenty-six. Confirmed. Woo. Oh hit. no! Yeah, very, nice. very nice. Yes, everybody gets your. The nat twenty is so definitely. How, how, how do I do this ten d ten view? Do they? Uh, I actually have ten d ten to work. I, yeah, I, I got. I have the app to do the dice. Somebody rules, just so. hand him all. Oh my god, that would double the poison damage. Yes, it would. Because yeah. that's two. That's now hang two on, points. hang on, hang on. Here's here's my issue here. Okay. You did not specify which of these attacks was the first and the second and the third. That's However, true. two of them are not twenties on there. I will, I will so, play with the lowest and going like. 16 no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Uh, that was the first die I threw. That was that sixteen. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you even odds here. Okay. I'll say this. I'll give you better odds. One, two. Roll the d4. One, two, and three. It's one of the not twenty hits. It's a four. Uh, it's okay. You still beat the heck out of it. You still beat the heck out of it. So you're going to roll double damage on two attacks. Okay. And you're going to roll Sorry. Four. regular Sorry. damage for the third and then roll 10 d10. Okay, so. Just three extra defense. Well, okay. this. Little boxes oh, yeah, okay, gotcha. Okay. This yeah. freaking sucks. Okay, so this is freaking awesome, sir. Damage. So for first one, seven. Oh, well, like okay. 14 plus 8. Good. So, no, so 22. Okay. 22. The first one, second one is... <laughs> 18. 18 plus 8. Oh, no. no. no sorry. That's 18 total. Icky. Your poison's going to kill this thing. Good. And 3 plus 8 is going to be 11. Okay. Plus the d10 damage. Okay. Okay, now the d10. Whatever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which is 54 extra points of damage. 54 points, okay. Nice. This thing looks beat to within an inch of its life, but it is still standing. Still awesome. Uh, so, as you guys watch... By the way, you just th- became visible. This is what happens. As, Gr- as Grim strides forward and he's like, Okay, dragon, bring it. What? What? And he just like he's a it's it's a he's turned into a flurry cool as the vorpal sword goes snicker snack against this thing, opening up all of these different wounds upon it. The silver poison traveling up and outlining the veins on the surface of the dragon as it crawls up toward its mouth. Um, with its move, it's going to kill all of these bugs and heal just a tiny little bit. <laughs> losing his sight and losing Ooh, all of the advantages. That's good, bug. That that. <laughs> uh, oh, that's good, bug. Thank you, Icky, for being Icky V just Thanks, turned this fight around. Thank around. you, Icky. Freaking poison. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll show up on the screen when you do. Um, okay, so uh, that's your turn. Uh, we go back to the top of the initiative order. Uh, Enwin. Cool. Bonus action to drink a potion? Bonus action to drink a potion. Cool, I'm going to drink the Blood of the Ice Dragon. Okay, Blood of the Ice Dragon. How many spell slots did he get for that? Five. Nice. <laughs> for the next hour, you have five extra spell slots. Woo! Let's burn and them. And some 15 extra hit points. If 15 extra hit spell. points. Wings sprout from Enwin's back uh, as he can now take to the skies. I, instead of burning one of my new spell slots, I'm going to use my Arcano for Investiture of Ice. Ooh. Okay. I'm immune to cold damage, have resistance to fire, um, can move across difficult terrain created by ice or snow, which happens within 10 feet of me. Okay. Um, and I can use an action to create a 15 foot cone of freezing wind extending from my outstretched hand in a direction I choose. Each creature, constitution saving throw, 46 cold damage on a not fail, half as much on a success. Is invest- Gesture, investiture, investiture, investiture. Of ice. Bless you. Uh, is is this an action. action or a bonus action to invoke? It is an action. Okay, so, so that's that is bonus. your action and your and bonus. You do anything? Move. I'm going straight up, straight up into the air. Yep. Boom. Like eye level with this. Dun, 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 dun. 
Hey, you, get your damn hands off her as you uh, as you fly <laughs> forward, and this thing turns around to look at you. Okay, that is your action and your bonus action. It is. All right. Uh, it is... One week since you looked at me. Going, <laughs> going to scream. I need everybody. Uh, and when, actually the entire party, including the people in the cages, are going to make this... Uh, uh, I need a DC uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, thank God. I'm not oh, no, supposed God. to save for one. Oh, my God. Mm. Nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wisdom. I'm do much better, bud. 23. 19. 19. Um, 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 uh, 15. 15. Uh, I have an 18 on the die. I'm trying to look at where this is. I can't seem to find it for whatever reason. Wisdom save. Plus one. Ah, uh, ha, 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 19. Total. Seven. <laughs> Not one. Oh, Woo! The two of you are frightened. Done. Uh, oh, yeah. this, Happily. <laughs> this thing's presence <laughs> freaks you out. Very. And you're like, ah! <laughs> Everybody else you met. <laughs> I, when she said I owed her a favor, yes. it didn't mean dragon. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. It just suddenly set in. You, that's uh, the way this works. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how any of this works. Uh, but, but that's how uh, you guys spend your time uh, 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 be, being a frightened. Any attacks against <sighs> it are going to be a disadvantage. You need to... You cannot move any closer to this thing as you are deathly afraid. I don't think I can move any closer to this thing unless I'm in its mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that is uh, going to be its turn. Mandrake, Madigan. Uh, it's looking rough. Well, going to throw my hat at it again. Th throw, th throw your hat. <laughs> You're going to poke your head out from uh, that rock. Why? Just it? go. <laughs> oh, oh, honey. There's a three on the dice. Okay, that's gonna miss. Yeah, oh, and a nat twenty. So I, I'm so for on, the return on return matics. It returns. So, so you, the opponent is blinded until the next turn. Okay, and at return. I don't know how we're gonna rectify that so because you blind. whiffed the roll so badly. Well, then I get to make another attack. That's the next one down. I will let you make it another attack then. We have to look at this. If you whiff, that is an unmitigated, sure. complete and utter failure. Make another attack. Another nat one? Did it come out? Another nat one. Okay. So it's a fly. It comes back, and you're like, a second bite at the apple. Shoo. Uh, and, but the hat flies around and lands back on your head as, as if it was frightened of the creature yeah. as well. You're doing anything with your bonus no, action. No, no, no. <laughs> behind that damn rock. Give me another stealth check yeah. if you hide behind the damn rock. That works. Can that counts. Count? 14. 14. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait. You know. uh, actually, 14 plus... 4. 18. All right. Uh, it's, uh, that is your turn. It's going to make a claw attack against Grim uh, as it slashes out with a 19 to hit. Nope. All right. Thanks to that shield, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well done, buddy. Uh, so that attack misses. Uh, that was Mandrake's turn. Nyx. Magic missile, third level. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That automatic hit. It doesn't matter if it's afraid or not. That'd be 18 eight. points of force damage. 18 eight. points of eight. force eight. damage. Eight. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, that's all. I'm good. All right. I'm good. All right. It's that's looking all. rough again. Uh, it looked like it was doing better after it sort of absorbed the bugs in its system. Uh, wine in hand. Um, question. Would, yep. I, would it take um, my turn to go to get over the fear? Would that be done at the end Actually, of the Actually, uh, go ahead and give me a, uh, at the end of your turn, you can give me another wisdom saving throw next. 18. Yep. You are not afraid of this thing. Yay. Wait a minute. I just nailed this thing. What is it you're afraid of? Yeah. Uh, uh, at the end of your turn, you are allowed to make another nice wisdom saving throw to, to, to not be afraid. But okay. currently, I'm afraid of no giant dragon trying to eat me. <sighs> Time for concentration spell. <laughs> spirit guardians. Okay. <laughs> uh, you cast spirit guardians. Uh, how did these Cheshire spirit, help? <laughs> uh, how do those spirit guardians manifest? What do they look like? They look like tiny versions of the Cheshire cat. Yeah, of course. Uh, 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 you guys watch as these tiny cats uh, start running forward from Wine and Hand's outstretched hands, and you hear you hear uh, as these cats go, spectral cats go flying out. Uh, what is the save on spectral guardians? It is a wisdom save of sixteen. It is a failure. Ha ha! All right. Me likey. 
Mandrake was angry for just a second that he didn't get spectral cats, and then he was fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, 16, 16, <laughs> 16 points of radiant. 16 points of radiant. Oof, a two. Uh, okay. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. Yeah, uh, Gilmore. No, Gilmore, you're in timeout. Uh, perception is 15. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that favorite. is the turn. It's the dragon's turn now. Oh, no, nope, I get to do my wisdom save. You are absolutely right. See if you are not afraid of this thing anymore. At first I was afraid. I was petrified, but then I rolled a 17, so I think I'm fine. You are absolutely fine. <laughs> you're like, these things got nothing on spectral cats. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is <laughs> going to move forward just a tiny <laughs> bit, and it is going to <laughs> cast its uh, breath weapon, which it has gotten back. I need... Uh, Enwin, not Enwin, actually, no, he'll go after Enwin for this one. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. I wonder if you can get, <laughs> You'll I wonder be... if you get oh. I will be 30 fine. foot cone. Fun to, I think he can catch. Well, I mean, I'm 60 feet straight up. No, so he's not going to go me. after you. I think instead he's going to go after these three, Should but one of them is spectral. Uh, so, uh, so he's just going to go after these two. So the two of you go ahead and give me uh, a save against the poison breath, which is a DC 17 con save. Is nope. This, is this me? This is both of you. Nope. Nope. Not for me. That's a 13. That Thir is a nine. A nine? Oh, yep. <laughs> you take. Give it to you, Rod Wigwood, sir. 46 points of poison damage. Oh. Ow. As, as you take a deep breath in, and that green gas uh, uh, is spear guard into concentration spell. Yes. Give me a concentration check. Gonna be the 23. 23. I did not. Okay, uh, spirit guardians. guardians unfortunately, as the the cats uh, find a, a piece of spectral yarn right. and begin to chase it off. And although, um, if I may, so is it the beginning of its turn? It is the beginning of its. So turn. it needs to redo the wisdom save or take damage again. It takes a save the first time you cast it, and then at the beginning of each of its turns. I believe so. Let me double check. Spirit guardians. Okay. When you cast this spell, you may designate any other creatures you see be unaffected by it. Uh, creatures, affected creature speed is halved in the area when it enters the area for the first time or starts its turn there. It must make a wisdom save. I will say it will take that first damage uh, because it's technically not entering into the field. It would that's make it a little OP if it, like, every time yeah, you no, cast fair. and stuff. Okay. Uh, but I will say that it takes that initial damage. Um, um, but if it continues to stay in this space, which it will, uh, uh, it will continue to take radiant well, it would damage. if the cats hadn't just left. If the cats hadn't just, well, yeah, that, that's fair <laughs> as well. Oops. Uh, as the cats all leave, bye. Um, Meowda, thank you so much for the support. We love you so much. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, and let's see if it gets its breath back. Please no. Uh, all right. Uh, that so is its turn. Uh, and it is not going to do anything else. Past that, uh, Thoe. Okay, let's just refocus that little sunbeam and do another con save okay. at disadvantage because he's undead. Correct. Right. It's con save fifteen. Sorry. Okay. Um. It makes it safe <sighs> by using a legendary resistance to, uh, to, well, to, burn one. to make um, it save rather than not. Oh, okay, seven. 14, uh, 19, 20, 26, so 13 points of radiance. Okay. It will stomp the ground. Uh, is that your action? That is remember? my action. It's going to stomp the ground. <laughs> I would prefer not. This no, one's already things. done. This one's already done. Uh, this one is not. Stomps the ground and sends forth bugs in its direction, uh, causing a small halo to form over its head. Uh, yeah, it's looking rough. Uh, that is your turn, Thoe. Grim, are you still standing? Yeah, I'm gonna just send everyone. I am. I am <laughs> looking pretty rough, guys. If anybody could help out, working on it. <laughs> so, um, if okay. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. 
Okay. Mm, I don't know if the order of this works, but I'm gonna, what I want to do is a, sure. I want to use my first two attacks, then use second wind, but then can I use um, action surge to gain another attack? Is that how that works, or do I need to do attack? What no, is second so wind? Is second wind? You can break up your attacks if you. If, so you can attack, move, attack, attack if you want. Mm. As far as I'm aware of the ruling. Yeah. What do you want to do? So I need I need to heal a little bit. Is second wind a bonus heal. action? Uh, it is a bonus action, but my action surge it says what, some of the others. What I would do is attack, attack, attack. Action surge, attack, attack, attack. Second wind. Second wind. So That's how that take works. six so attacks six against this thing. And then we, second wind to heal. And then second wind. We do what now? Right now. Second wind. <laughs> well, uh, so, action surge is fun. <laughs> you get a whole different action. Okay, we're doing this right now. You're doing this right uh, now. Yeah, yeah. Roll yeah. them one at a time, yeah, here we go. please. Real good. The first one, that is a, with a verbal sword, that is going to be a 21. 21 hits. <laughs> the second one is going to be a 22. 22. That hits. Third one is going to be a 29. Oh. That hits. Click like a combo then, breaker. Yeah, seriously. Uh, then you action surge, channeling the fighter within you. And then, so then roll those. Roll three more attacks. Okay, that is going to be, that is going to be 27. 27. 13. 13. And 18. 18. All of those hit. All right. Okay. Roll. Wait a sec. What the 13? 13 does not hit. Okay. okay. So, so five two of, of those five hit. Five of the six hit. Five of the six hit. Okay. So then I need to roll all them dice. All them d8s. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. One, two, Next three, edge. Four, five. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So edge. Yeah, fighters, man. So, uh, <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Well, six plus eight is, is quick math, people. What, what is it? 16? Six plus eight is going to be 14. 14. fourteen, and then three plus eight 11. is eleven. Uh, eight plus eight, sixteen. Sixteen. Um, six plus eight is the other fourteen, 14 and then ten. ten. So, for all those math folks out there, sixty-five. How do you want to do this? Hey! So <laughs> I have had it. Wait, had let's try it. <laughs> Fifty-two hit points left. Awesome. Nice man. So I need to chunk away at some of those parts of this thing so I can keep it. Why don't you just put it in the sword? <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> <laughs> darling. I have, I have darling, a, cards don't talk. I have a bear in there, and I like my bear. <laughs> I don't know what the bear does. <laughs> so he's big and um, fuzzy. He makes a lovely so bear. I, 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 but, like, yeah, I will say that you, rem you remember, uh, as if a voice on the wind reminds you that if you want to claim this, you may claim this so that on a nat 20, this would rise out of the sword as well. Uh, in addition to the bear? No. Okay, just instead of this. Bear. I was like, you must choose bear weird. or giganto undead dragon. It is a question that men has asked of themselves for eons. And then we shall bear go or ghost dragon? Ghost dragon. <laughs> ghost dragon. <laughs> I'll go Ghost Dragon on this one, well, because it's awesome, but I do want to take a part of its body and chop it off and keep it forever. Okay. I'm going to go straight for just right up, like, you know, it's... Sure it's, you yeah, with yeah, the sword? Uh, just either come down right from the neck and Yeah, you jump up. Arrow yeah. Flynn style? Yeah. You channel yes. Harvey uh, and drag this sword down, uh, jumping up to your full height, and as it's paying attention to Enwin, it doesn't see you as the sword hits it right below the neck, and you just, you slide you down this thing, hitting the ground, doing a three-point landing as this thing... Like Neo from the Matrix? Falls, Superhero landing. Falls so behind you, knees. and you're like, yeah! Yeah, check out the flood of ichor and gore and blood uh, that just encompasses you and every like uh, all over you. Let's see, can I take its heart? <laughs> uh, sh give me a nature check as you. Okay. Yep, yeah, you guys are out of you combat. Try to it. You, check. you are out of combat. This the body starts to try to come together. Uh, while it is on the ground and he is looking at it, the body starts to come together. However, the radiant damage sent forth from the cats and from the burst have kept it down and not rising again. Every time that it takes radiant damage, it cannot heal okay. correctly. Take the master instruction. Stop it and just bonk it in the nose. Yeah. Can I keep smacking it with radiant while yeah. he's gathering? You're just burning parts. away small oh, yeah. parts of this. You're just stop burning, it, burning, it, burning, it. burning. It's a 16. 16? You start hacking away at this thing, and you find a black mass like that's close to where something's heart might be. It looks like a thump thump. Uh, Taking it. I'm just gonna start scooping gold into my bag. Uh, okay. 
Same. So you remember that thing I did last episode that we all really enjoyed? All of no. the terrain around, <laughs> all of the terrain around me is difficult and covered in ice. Good yeah, luck. Um, I have um, mobility, so uh, I'm not affected by job, difficult buddy. terrain. Catch you on the back, and I cast um, fourth level cure wounds on him, and then on myself. Perfect. Uh, roll that healing. I'm gonna take Burning care of any rocks spell spell left just to heal us up. <laughs> <laughs> <Or not. laughs> I will say, uh, with enough time, you spend your time walking Six. around to the different rocks in the area, Eight. burning yeah, them us. up. Yes. I'm going to try to find uh, the most valuable thing I can see. Give me an investigation check. Oh, come on. And then I'm going to investigate the people. Yeah, um, I, I, can I take the tongue too? 14 plus... <laughs> I uh, ask what's wrong with uh, this, but I want to sit here Sure, give me another nature check. 22. I didn't take it. 22? Investigation? Yeah. So you, uh, you, start digging, thing. you start digging around in this pile of gold, and you're finding different, uh, you're, you're finding different uh, objects of power, and uh, you find a, uh, uh, a set of armor that looks uh, somewhat interesting, as it's, uh, it's sort of wrapped in this uh, blackened aura. You find uh, some scrolls tucked off to the side. Uh, you find a... Uh, you find, uh, the, uh, out of all the items that you find, the two that catch your Somebody eye, I will let you uh, reach forward. Uh, you need to give me an investigation check as well. If you're, Are you just pouring gold? All I'm the gold, just whatever gold, I can grab. I'm just, choo, 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 just whatever's choo, choo. in front of me where I land. Yeah, uh, as the whole room begins to shudder a little bit. Um, so my choice is between the armor and... Uh, uh, there is a metal box... Uh, that's carved with arcane symbols around this metal box. It's about this tall, but it looks like... Um, do you remember those boxes that you had as a kid where, like, each layer of the square like, comes out of the box a little yes. bit? Do you know what I mean? What I'm talking about where it gets to the very top, there's, like, a little tiny square. Like, mm -hmm. But it looks like one of those boxes. I'll grab that. Okay. okay. Um, Being careful not to touch it with my bare hand. Yeah, the was, room, room was begins any, to... Was there anybody looking at the peoples in the cages? Uh, anybody looking at them? I was going to after I dealt with all the... Bugs. So yeah, uh, he, he, he's, he's taking his time to go burn the rest of the okay. bug hidey holes. I'm, I'm gonna go look into people's sure. in cages while all this is happening. Sure. Um, there's two people in cages. Uh, there's one gentleman at the beginning that, that that was not rousing. He was laying on the ground, but as he was poked, he sort of groaned. And there is an uh, there is a small gnomish man. Um, and there's no doors on these cages. No doors on the cages. The small gnomish man is just sitting in the cell, like rocking back and forth. I, I can turn him into something small hey. if we can get him out of the cage. Hey, listen. Dragon's dead. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Um, uh, uh, Persuasion. Okay. You're having a breakthrough, like, that's, whatever uh, this poor individual has gone through. That's fair, Am I there honestly. Yet? Hmm? Am I there yet, or am I still doing stuff? Uh, it, I, I will say it takes you a little bit of time to gotcha. go through and meticulously search out and burn through. Gotcha. Give him, I'll give him one more turn, and then you'll, you'll have been able to. You're going fireball, fireball, fireball. Like, you know, I can turn him into a mouse so we can carry him out of here. 16. 16. His eyes dart up towards you. Okay. <laughs> polymorph. Mouse. Okay. So he can get out of the bark. Uh, he polymorphs into a mouse and begins to crawl around the cage. Come on. Come on, buddy. Right here. Animal handling. Oh, come on. <laughs> I think he loses it. his intelligence yeah. at this point. He's That's just a true. small mouse. Like, That's only a 10. Uh, yeah, I think it takes a little bit of time. He actually goes out the other side of the cage, and you scramble around to the side, <laughs> pick up the mouse, and put it in. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> do you want to get the other one? Yes, please. We can do the same thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Same uh, thing. Yeah. The other figure, yeah, yeah. Uh, does not move. Oh. Does um, not respond. It, like, does not, like... Can I try casting Cure Wounds on him? Well, before that, can I roll a medicine check to see if this man oh, dead? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Even roll. With it. Uh, 13. During the fight. Yep. Okay, got it. It's too much. Okay. All right. Um, Save one. Uh, it appears that this pocket dimension may be unpocketing. Maybe we should uh, not be <laughs> More here. fire sort of fills in around the cracks of the chamber. Teacups. Teacups. Cheers. Uh, Just I, fly. I, I, I will say. I will say this whole conversation that's been happening. You've been pouring gold into this pour, gold bag, bag, bag. Um, roll. Roll three. Roll four d ten. Because I can't help it. Uh, 
Expeditious retreat. Okay. Quick around just Okay, gold. everybody gathers to clink teacups and Mandrake do- is not there. Hi. Mandrake is running around the space as the ground beneath your feet begins to form more and more lava. I'm going to use a scone so he's <laughs> right next to us. You do not become the Flash with Expeditious Retreat. I need to I need to make this clear. Like you I, you get faster, yeah. you're more virile. You do not become the Flash. I said a quick I'm, Okay, I'm, a quick pace I'm, around, but it's fine. I'll, I'm I won't using do it. Abscond to get him right with us. <laughs> if he's willing. Just in your head, you're by the gold, Dude, so I was just going to grab what I could real fast. Okay, but. so man, uh, so even you guys are by the gold. Everybody's about to touch teacups, and he goes, two seconds. Wee! One. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Wee! Okay. Everybody give me a dexterity saving throw as the ground beneath your feet begins to collapse. I said I didn't throw do it, the first of all. 17. 11? 13. 13. 17. 17. 19. 19? 19? 16. 16? Uh, actually, it's 20. No! 20. It's Wait, like you're flying. Wait, you're flying. You're though. flying. Nightheart Gaming, thank you for the raid. We appreciate uh, it so woo! much. Oh, all right. So, Enwin, you're floating in the air like this, and Mandrake is like two seconds. Let me run around. I just want to see as, uh, as much gold as I can... Uh, the ground begins to shake, and they all sort of stumble for a second, and Mandrake, what did you get? Like a 20 21. Five. You managed to hop and hop and uh, hop. Who got my nat one? Did somebody get that? Was me. That, that was, was you, but you're flying. flying. It's fine. Uh, you, you start to lose your ground, you're like, ah! Oh, wait, I'm flying. It's fine. Uh, Mandrake <laughs> runs over to where you all are. Make one more dexterity saving throw uh, as... Actually, Everyone. are you willing to be transported over yeah. using the teleportation? I, I said that I wasn't even going to do it. Whenever you argued? No, no, no. Oh, I, I, no, I only argued after the third time that you said, I just want to run around really quick because we'll buy the gold. Live your okay. truth. Three? Yep. No, I'm, Yeet. No, no, I'm getting... Yeet. I'm getting you are all yeeted over to this section. Uh, 4D10, 1D10. 29. 29? Uh, 2,900. Oh, Woo. That didn't work. Is it a bag of holding? It's a haversack. It's a haversack. Ooh. The haversack is is what we're starting to get close to like awkward fill space here, okay? And I tend to be a little bit safer than that. Freaking floor is lava. Eight, eight. Here's uh, a, a my child. So eight hundred. Eight hundred gold. Uh, uh, you just <laughs> and you pile it into your bag, and as you all are gathered around this small section, uh, you uh, you clink the teacups together, and nothing happens. Oh, for the love of everything. Uh, the floor is continuing to shake about you in the space. Uh, the, the teacups have been clinked together and nothing is 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 happening. He's going to rifle for um, cup in hand, mm-hmm. goblet in, in fist or whatever, and it's going to grab him like, Get Cheshire! Get us out of here! Uh, intelligence checks for everybody that's used a cup before. Uh, <laughs> um, so in character. In character. Who got above a 16? 17. You need liquid in the cup. Oh! You need liquid in the cup. You need liquid in the cup. You need liquid in the cup. That's the only prerequisite for these. Li- the, it's a clink, who, boom, so you're gone. Say it. Yeah, exactly. Like Anybody you, that you above a 16. You need, hey! Yeah, I, hey. I, I like, just start trying quick, to melt ice into the just cup. Quick, just quick round with the wine. Quick. As you as you pour the wine, everybody's got their cups in hands. The floor, the ceilings, the walls, everything vanishes. You are falling in the inky black <laughs> darkness. <laughs> you have cups in your hand. I need everybody to to. Uh, I can be argued with an acrobatics or athletics as you're trying to fall in clink clucks, clink cups at the same time. You get yours at advantage because you are flying here. I mean, I got a nat. Okay, so you got a nat twenty, so you are able to help acrobatics. someone else. Whoever whiffs cool. it very badly. You mean the person who rolled the net one? That'd be the one. 22? Yeah. Yeah. 12. 12? 17. 17? Net one. You fly over to where she is <laughs> and be like, I am, why? And you, you, you're you, all floating through this space. I got a 31, by the way. The third. <laughs> <laughs> Mandrake is sitting cross-legged. And being this like, is delightful. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, the last image that you all see is all of you looking down into a large, gigantic puck, mouth stretched open as you are falling 
towards his open mouth. What? Yeah. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of you flip the bird simultaneously with one hand and take a sip of your wine. Uh, shit you fall, <laughs> and as you fall, Enwin is still on his feet. The rest of you fall and break all of the tables inside of the Cheshire Club. Of course. To oh, which Bo goes, Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Best day ever! <laughs> all of you falling poof, and landing on the ground. Um, with you, uh, on your person is the, s- I- I- who you managed to grab and just sort of affix to your person, mm-hmm. uh, that is still an animal form, uh-huh. is this small gnome. Um, uh, we... but he's still an animal could, form. Could we... You are back in the <laughs> Cheshire Club. I dropped Polymorph. Okay. He is covered in bruises and beaten to within an inch of his life. He's he's sort of face down and scrambles away in the darkness, uh, going into the back corner of the room. That's not gonna fight us later. He'll be fine. We did it good. No, no, no he's well, in the he's still in the bar. He's yeah, just he, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> just um, healing word at third for that guy. Just. Feel better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You see, the wounds about around him close as he um, as he nods his head uh, and and just sort of cowers in the corner, shaking back and forth. Um, He's had a day. <laughs> uh, uh, Bo comes walking uh, over to where the tables are and says, "Great job. You made it back." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure I'm still covered in just. Icker and disgusting yeah. nonsense. With one sort of thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> woo! <laughs> with a woo! Uh, that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. You killed the dragon. Uh, you killed the dragon. You saved the day. Uh, Puck, Puck is significantly weakened. Uh, you picked up a couple of goodies along the way. Uh, you picked up a, a lot of gold. Uh, this is going to cover a good help cover the stuff that we've talked about. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mesa, for joining us tonight. Wine in hand uh, was a great addition to our, our Motley crew. We can't thank you enough for everybody that raided. Thank you so much. Grim, Icky, everybody that stuck around. and uh, and, and doing uh, a post-game? Uh, yes, we are going to do a post-game. Here's, here's our post credit scene. I need everybody but Enwin... Oh. Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. I knew it. Oh, Whoa. Grim Dude, and Zoe. Get out. To oh. leave the room, please. Oh, no. Interesting. Oh, no. You stay. Oh, no. I stay? Yeah, oh, I stay. No. Oh, no. Because, because Zoe brought the thing out. It has been a harrowing adventure. All of you have drinks and celebrate into the night with your new buddy, wine in hand. As you go like to this. sleep that evening. You don't stay. Your eyes Don't touch me. flutter open, and you're in an apartment. Uh, there's people gathered about you in the space. Uh, everybody's super excited. Uh, there's this kind of like nervous energy in the room, and you look up, and Aaron is standing in front of you. It's Enwin, but he's in human form, and. He looks about as confused as you are. And Graham, you look down and your and Aaron's hands are touching. Uh, as Aaron is in the process of handing you a small rectangular box. Or you're in the process of handing him a small rectangular box. You can't tell. But you're wearing clothes of the time that you spent in the other place. Like my hoodie? Yeah. The, the ears are off of it. You're wearing blue jeans, this brown hoodie. I mean, you're wearing a black shirt, with some novel saying across of it, blue jeans. Is this real? No. I don't think so. Manny comes up and uh, and just sort of makes his way through the crowd. Been like, all right, pal, you nervous? No. Tonight's the night. Oh, it's the night, all right. Were you holding the ring for him? He just, he's going to just grab it with both hands, he's just going to open it up. Yeah. And look inside. Shiny diamond. I don't think she expects it. Oh, she's not going to expect anything. Are you 
you can they give this to her? I'm not sure yet. Have you seen it? No. Maybe you should be sure. Uh, a large gentleman, uh, like, knocks on the door. Hey, Graham, I'm really sorry to bother you, brother. Uh, do you got a second? Sh sure. Hey, uh, we got a, we got a 713, and I know that we're off duty for this, but do you think you can come help me handle this? We're partners, right? I mean, so it's gonna be you first. Uh, yeah, um, no, no, you're right, I should be sure and pushes it closed. Hey, I'm gonna pocket it. Right. And you ready? Uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's go. Holds out an arm. Mount up, brother. Well, let's go. Uh, and he will lead you to a squad car downstairs. Uh, and you immediately recognize it as your squad car, uh, as you are brothers in arms with the, um, as a policeman. You were currently off duty, here for the engagement party. Uh, there's a soft knock on the door not too long after Graham leaves and Zoe is standing there. Do I remember what happened before? Yeah. The only person in the room is Aaron not there who looks confused. The patch on the arm of your partner is that of a gray wolf against the moon in the sky. And he looks the same as... Aaron, He's Aaron usually does. Okay. He's Aaron. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? Oh, I'm here. That's what's wrong. And you're here. And Grim's here. And we shouldn't be. No, no this isn't right. No, no. You're not talking you're right, right. right now. We're not talking right. This isn't right. the way it's supposed to be. You're. You're right. You're right, this is not how it should be. But whose fault is that? Hmm? No, I, I just needed to be able to show you. I, it was just, it was one time just to be able to show you, just to be able to show you that it's real. But you're what not the same. What did you have same. to do to get me here, Chloe? You didn't have to like, give me your name or anything. It was just saying it. It was just saying it once. It wasn't giving a name. It was just saying it once just to be able to see this place once or to be able to see it as you or, or see it from your eyes or to know that it was you here and not just imaginary. And it's not because you're here. And, and, and did you see Grim? I did. He got to see it too. He did. And he left. It's got a ring. I might want to get that from him at some point. You're not acting like you usually do. I think I'm acting quite a bit kinder than I should be. But I, I suppose it's my own fault for being that dumb. I don't like this. Then maybe we shouldn't be here. Would you like to wake up? Yes. You wake up? Uh, would you like to wake up? Hi. Right. You wake up? Would you like to wake up? As you pull up to a car that's stranded on the side of the road and there's a person there holding a knife to this woman no. as they gotten out of the car. No. You ready for this, partner? Let's do it. Let's go be heroes. And you're just going to proceed to... Yeah, that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. Great. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for the epilogue. Uh, oh, I had a great uh, ready at some point. And then uh, we're going to go raid a channel that's going to earn you some stream points as, uh, as uh, they know that there is a world within uh, their own, uh, with each of them having their own secret life here, uh, a life that they could be happy in, So uh, some of them. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Uh, we have a raid prepared. Are we looking yes, for a raid? we're good. All right, all right go it. ahead and raid away. Uh, we love you guys. Indigo Connect. And, hey, do you wonder, do you wonder, do you wonder, do you wonder, do you wonder? Ah. Love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. We love you. Thank you for letting us emotionally traumatize you. <laughs>
emotionally traumatized. <laughs>